start this stream. Let's start this stream. Let's hit this button. Let's hit this button. And then I think we're ready to go. Ready to go. Hey, Ashley. Hello. Hello. Am I like super close to the screen right now? I feel like I'm zoomed. Am I zoomed? Hello, Isabel. Hello, Victoria. Hello, Ananda. Hello, Naira. Hello, LR. Hello, Shanti. Hello, Katie Baby. Hello, Victoria. Hello, Isabel. Am I zoomed in? Hey, Minnie. Hey, Jenny. Hey, NR. Hey, Alex. Hey, Lady Raven. My nose is so itchy. Uh, let's move this. That was my jumper. I guess I'm not zoomed in. I don't know why I feel like I feel like super zoomed in today. Like I feel like my <laughs> I'm feeling out of sorts right now. Hello, Mama. Hello, Cody. Hello, Rue. Hello. Thank you. Hello, Kali. Hello, Jay. Hello, Linda. Oh, Linda, you changed your name on here. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Anxiety. Your cat just had kittens, Minnie. Oh my God. So cute. Did you put pictures in Discord? You should put pictures in Discord. Hello, lady. When you tap the live, it's not hearts. It's a different Easter stuff. Oh, how fun. Hey, Lily. Hello, Sophia. Hello, Ange. Hello, Emin. Hello, Rebecca. How are all my friends today? Hello, Ashley. Hello, Lahori. Hello, Mrs. T. Your mama cat had kittens this afternoon too? Oh my God, it's like kitten season right now. Put pictures in Discord of the kittens. <gasps> Hello, Isabel. How many, hello, Chris. How are you? I just dropped my iced coffee and it poured into my socks. <laughs> Shoo. <laughs> hello. I'm gonna call you jellyfish because that's what your name says it is. That's the only thing I see is a jellyfish emoji. I literally love watching you. It's so amusing hearing all the stories. I'm so glad you are enjoying it. Hello, Steffi. Hello, right, Raina. Blah blah blah. Hello, yams. Hello, Felicia. Hello, Jenny Cakes. What's the matter? Come here. What's the matter, Nish? Come here, little Tish Tosh. She's ugly meowing at the wall right now. Raina, I did it. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Hello, Lorna. Hello, Lorna. Hello, Mada. Hello, Fada. Here I am at Camp Granada. Does anybody know that? My parents saw that to me when I was young. I, I bet you nobody knows that. Does anybody know it? You should be doing dishes. Nah, you can do dishes and watch me at the same time. Your husband sings that all the time? You know it, you know it. Your parents sung that too? You know it, Rue? Yes. Yay, five. When my dog had puppies, she uh, last she had five. Oh, that's awesome. You heard it as a kid. You would always sing it on road trips as kids. Oh my God. It was on an Abbott and Costello movie. <laughs> your, your autocorrect changed that to Abbott and Constellation. <laughs> You like to listen when you clean. A lot of people do that. Oh, you know it from the Canine Advantage commercial. Ah. I like interacting with the chat too much to do dishes. True, true, true. Yes, you've heard that before when you were a kid. Oh, okay. I'm so glad. I thought I was, I was like, I'm going to, I'm singing this. I was like, no one's going to know what the fuck I am talking about. I am live. Little bit of Jay. I am. I'm super early. I'm early swirly today. And thank you so much for the heart me. Hello, Tabby Cats. Hello, Emmy Joe. Canine Advantage commercial. Hello, happy almost Easter Mossy fans. Hello, Mama DJ. How are you? Hello. Oh, it's 1130 in, in, uh, in the UK, Stuffy. It is 730 for me over here on Long Island.
Same here. I never get anything done when you're live. I interact too much. <laughs> it's coming along, Cody. We started packing up the house a little bit. We're going to do some packing this weekend. We don't even have a closing date. We're sitting here packing. <laughs> Aw, Sarah, thank you. Auntie, you're above light and energy this evening. I'm loving it. Boom, that aura glow. <laughs> Hello, Nina. What time is it, everyone, where you are? Tell me where you are and what time it is. You posted the kittens? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I need to see them. <laughs> Guys, go look at the Discord. The little mama nursing her little baby kittens. And they're so cute. Oh, my God. <clears throat> no update on the kitchen ghost. North Carolina, 730. Houston, 630. Alabama, 630. New Zealand, 1230. Pittsburgh, 730. 730. Florida, Kentucky, 730. Alabama, 730. 530. New Mexico, 730. Indiana, 1130. UK, Missouri, 630. 630. In Wisco, Texas, 630. New Jersey, 730. 730. Kentucky, Utah, 530. 430. 75 million 30. <laughs> Arizona, 430. South Carolina, 730. Oregon, 430. The taps are cute. I can't see them, unfortunately. My daughter is at uh, is uh, at a sleepover, actually. Six thirty, Kentucky, UK, eleven thirty, Al, six thirty, Ohio. I said Al. <laughs> Woo! We are everywhere. Thanks, Al. Wine o'clock. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're one of those moms. It's wine o'clock. Love your vid. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong, by the way. If you took that offensively, I didn't mean it offensively. Auntie o'clock. Woo! Greensboro, North Carolina, 7.30. Hello, friend. Hello, Victoria Everman. Are you talking to me? I'm so happy you're live. I crochet for a living. And I always watch your videos when I work. You crochet for a living? Do you sell your things on Etsy or something? Hello, blue eyes. I will be reading some stories a little bit later. You are early today and I am early today. Hello, Haraklia. <laughs> Nick says, hello, crochet friends. Hello, Naomi. What time are we reading today? Got to run some errands. Um, We normally chat for about an hour and then we start reading. That's our normal. You're crocheting too? Oh my, all right, hold on. Natasha really wants to leave if you haven't heard because she hears Uncle Matrix out there doing the cat chores, which means there's probably treats involved. Hold on. Okay. Guys, my room is so messy, by the way. Please ignore. We're kind of like checking out of taking care of this apartment because we're <laughs> already mentally moving into the new house. I don't sell an essay. I do craft shows up and down the East Coast. Oh, my God. That's so cool. I actually just started yesterday to try to crochet. and It was really hard. <laughs> it was really hard. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on your name. I've always wanted to learn to crochet, but I'm lefty and I don't even know if, a, oh, and I don't know if a righty can teach me. Thank you. You could do it. I started, oh, everyone's saying, hey, uncle. Hey, guys. He's brushing the cats, which means they get treats. Hello, Lorraine. No worries. I love you too. You see how they all, they're all ready for brushes? Not because they want to be brushed. It's because they want treats. Well, I think Kali likes being brushed, right? She does, except for when everybody's around her. Yeah, that's true. My mom sat in front of me and I learned by watching her, I'm lefty. I just, I learned the, how to make a little slip 
knot and put the thing in. And then I learned how to do just the regular stitch. And then it was telling me to do something else. I think to go back, like I, I did like a little chain and then, and then I had to like put it through part of the chain and do something. And then I started doing it and then it got really hard. And I don't think I was doing it right. <laughs> for, crochet, uh, for crochet help for the lefty, Crochet Crowd does tutorials in both left and right. Thank you, Lorraine. Crochet Crowd, a chain. Hey, Jen. You understand? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I don't think I was doing it right. It got harder. I think I did it wrong. Hello, Ami. <laughs> okay, Megan, I'll see you later. I'll see you in a little bit. Granny Square Pro here, and that's about it. I don't even know what a Granny Square is. Hello, Joni. Sounds like the grandma stitch. Everyone's saying that. I don't even know what that means. Spider, thank you for the heart me. Blue eyes, thank you for the rose. Christy, thank you for the team bracelet and the heart me. Tabby, thank you for the cream cone. Misandra, thank you for the rose. Thank you, Elle. My voice is meant to be relaxing. I'm glad you enjoy it. Hello, Lou. Hello, Gavia. Hey, Haley. Just wanted to, uh, just walked in the door from a visit to see my cousin. Happy to be here. Woo! Ames, thank you for the heart puff. I think this is the third live we were on together, but we've not interacted yet. Who, you and you and me, Victoria? Well, hello, we're interacting now. <laughs> Linda, what are those little guys? Oh, those are those little balls of yarn. Jumping over to YouTube to listen to your stories to fall asleep. Oh, nice, Peachy Peach. Hello, Megan. Namaste. Cheyenne. I'm coming with you for your lash fill. <laughs> okay, sounds good. How are you going to listen to me or watch me while you're getting your, your lashes done? You can't see me. Victoria, we love you too. I'm glad we're here too. Hey, Auntie, first time I catch you live. Greetings from Austria. Hello, Mark from Austria. My mom showed me at nine and I don't know how, but I did my own blanket at nine. A whole blanket? That's crazy. I'm in Scotland, 11.36 p.m. Odin, are you guys like mesmerized by the brushing? Are you going to give him treats? Oh, you're chasing Luna. <laughs> Luna is the most vocal about treats. She's like, give me treats. Ah, 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 ah. But don't brush me. She is treats. the worst. Ah, ah, ah. She looks, Literally the she looks worst. like so mad. She will not get brushes. She never listens. She, she just wants to eat all day. Food. It's because she was astray. She wants to eat all day. Hey, Crystal. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, whoa. Hey. Looney is. Brushes first. Luna Baluna. Brushes first. <laughs> Such a show right now, man. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm just watching you and laughing. <laughs> I'm gonna give you one treat. You'll be so mad about it. <laughs> she did not want those brushes. So mad about Luna it. the loon. It's her world and you're just living in it. <laughs> did you join that Facebook group? No, I didn't. I forgot all about it. I forgot all about it. They got their treaties now. You got your treats. I just noticed there's like a rogue sock on the on the thing. Bye guys. <laughs> I love you. Bye. See you later. No, See you later, alligator. You're leaving him in here? Yep. Oh god. Ah, <laughs> uh, hello shoe not. Spoiled rotten kitties. Well, they only get treats when they get groomed. So they get treats when they get brushes or when they get their nails clipped or something like that so that they will sit for those things, except Luna. Um, and then they will get their treats. Turn the fish on for them. What fish? I'm excited. Most other Victorias don't like me. Why, Victoria? Oh, yeah, it's a Facebook group of everyone that has the same cat. <laughs> oh, the cat TV. You mean cat TV. I do have to put on cat TV, actually. Luna's the middle child, isn't she? You know what? 
<sighs> I guess. So Kali was first. Then we got Tootie, but Tootie is no longer with us. She passed away. But then we had Tootie. Then we got Luna and Odin at the same time. We literally got them a day apart. Because what happened was... <clears throat> Sorry. I don't know what's going on with me. Um, what happened was we made plans to adopt Luna and we were going to pick her up when we were coming back from camping. And then while we were camping, I got a message from a breeder, a Maine Coon breeder, because we had been looking for a Maine Coon before we decided we were adopting Luna. And they had kittens available and we wanted a kitten. So we decided we, could, we couldn't not adopt Luna. We we're still going to adopt Luna. So we did both. So we came back from camping and we picked up Luna and Odin a day apart, I think. Which is so, so crazy. And then we got Natasha. Yesterday, my light bulb was full of water, which is impossible. That's really weird. Hey, Mimi. Been so happy since my nephew been born. Got to see him on FaceTime, too. He's so cute. Only six pounds. Oh, he was born two weeks early. He was born on Sunday. Oh, that's amazing. Emily, congrats. Yes, we're going to read stories in a little bit. We're just chatting for a little bit. Hello, Caitlin. You guys want cat TV? Not you guys. <laughs> you guys want cat TV? Cat TV, anyone? Cat TV? Cat TV? Odin knows. Holly, don't be mad. Odin's just on the bed. People are allowed to be on the bed. Cat TV, we're putting on. Cat TV, we're gonna get it for you. Let's see, let's put on. Let's put on this one. Ooh, look. Uh, it's squirrel, chipmunks, and mice. Maybe some birds. Let's put this one on. There you go. Cat TV. Go now. Look, it's Cat TV, Mish. You see it? Huh. 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 Girl, I remember your first glitch in the Matrix video. Love how much you've grown. Oh, Monique, you're an OG glitch. Thank you for saying that. It's crazy, right? It's so crazy. Never been here early enough to see before the cat TV. <laughs> I usually put the cat TV on uh, before I go on, but I forgot. I go back to work on Monday after being off from maternity leave for almost eight months. Wow. Where do you work, Gavia? Where do you live that you are able to go on maternity leave for eight months? That is amazing. OG here. Woo -woo! Guys, let me know if you're an OG glitch. Have you been around since the beginning? Let me know. <clears throat> oh, the eight ball says they think so. Oh, gee. Woo! Love it, love it, love it. Oh, Govia. Well, you know what? Hey, you got some time out of it, huh? Nice, my friends. All my OGs. Woo, woo! You've been here since the first live? You have. I'm an A1, D1, OG. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Let's talk to your time. Let's talk to your time. Let's talk to your time. Mm, mm, mm. April, should I do my homework tonight? The answer to that isn't pretty. <laughs> you didn't discover me to my first live. I'm glad you discovered me. I think the first story I saw was a woman whose house moved a block. Mm, mm hmm mm hmm You get 18 months in Canada for maternity leave? You get a year and a half? That's crazy. We get three months. We get three months maximum in the U.S., I'll be right back moving to Canada because they fucking suck. The US fucking sucks. Mm. Felicia. 
I'll write you down, boo. What's the name of your story? You will be number one. Hello, Megan. I was listening to your latest YouTube video to get me through my cavity filling today. Thank you so much for getting me through that. You are so welcome. I have some cavities. I need to go to the dentist. Um, Bly, that was like 12 years. Oh, is it unpaid? Oh, you're saying unpaid and not everyone. Uh-huh. We get 40 weeks paid in the UK and I saved my holidays up to add on to that. So I had 10 months for the kids. Oh my God, you guys are so lucky. I discovered you from the suggestions on the homepage of YouTube. I was like, ooh, something new. Woo! My childhood home. Fillings are the worst to get. Had to get nine in a month span. I don't think feelings are that bad, honestly. The worst part is just getting the shot. Then it's fine. It's just annoying. Newbie glitch, probably about, about six months. Active in live since January. Whoop, whoop. Yes, I am. Really, I am live on TikTok and YouTube at the same time. So friends on TikTok, if you like YouTube better, come on over. It reminded me about your Reiki training. How's it going? Are you still doing that? So I have my um, second degree uh, certification and attunement in Reiki. I have not gone back to get my um, master. I had pain afterwards for a few days. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know feelings can fall out? That was a rough experience. I do know that they can fall out. It has not happened to me as of yet. And be careful not to bite ourselves after. Yes. Root canals are the worst. I don't think root canals are that bad either. I've had a few. I think it's the same thing. It's just you have to go for more visits, you know? <laughs> you're numb all the all the times you're numb. Mm. No worries, Victoria. Welcome, welcome. You're really numb. You're fresh out of your appointment. Oh, my God. I followed you on TikTok for a long time, over a year ago. I like YouTube better. A lot of people like YouTube better. My kiddo needs two root canals and wisdom teeth pulled. Oh, the wisdom tape. Hello, Reiki friends. Hello. <laughs> User, I did. Who are you? <laughs> Hey, Jess. Jess, how's your daughter? Oh, my God. It is Lily's birthday today. You know what? I wasn't supposed to go live today. The only reason I'm live is because my daughter ended up going to have a sleepover at a friend's house. So I don't have any kids today. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lily. Happy birthday to you. I know we sang one the other day for you, just in case, but today was your real birthday and many more. How did you, what did you guys do today? Let me know, let me know, let me know. Oh my goodness, Miss Sandra. Thank you so much for sending subscriptions. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. It's your birthday as well, Jesse. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesse. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> dinner and a movie. Nice. We're getting ready to do dinner and cake and presents. Oh, good. Have so much fun. I appreciate you too. Hey, user, wait, who are you? Did you work with me? Or do you just remember me? Did you come in or something when I used to work there? Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Cake sounds bomb. What kind of cake? I'm not a cake person. I like rich things like cheesecake, brownies, fudge, like light cake. I don't like that. Cake and pastries. 
Να με δεν. Your birthday was Tuesday. Happy belated birthday to you, Christy. Hello, Alexandra. Hello, persevere. I'm sweaty from doing laundry. <laughs> Where did user go? I want to know who you are, boo boo. I'm so interested. It was a lot of laundry. How much? Thank you, Elizabeth. Mmm, cheesecake. Oh my god, I could eat cheesecake all day. All day, Linda. Ice cream cake. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Three baskets full? Holy crap. My child's singing happy birthday now. <laughs> My birthday's in a couple weeks. My hubby has a present. I'm already betting he'll give it early. Uncle Matrix tries to do that. Thank you. It's a uh, hamsa hand. Mm-hmm. A whole cheesecake. Absolutely. Cheesecake is life. We're just <clears throat> eating tortillas and hanging out. TikTok is faster than YouTube. Do I like Cheesecake Factory? Yes, I have not been there in a long time, though. My one-year-old daughter thinks you're Miss Rachel. I get that a lot. <laughs> Hello, one-year-old daughter. <laughs> You've been craving cheesecake for two weeks? I had some, um, I had some last weekend, actually. Hey, Jenny, how are you? Most laundry I've done in a day for work is 200 pounds. You're a cake and donuts girl. Girl, put some butter or avocado on your tortilla. No, thank you. I'm just going to eat it like this. I'm chewing over here. Because it hurts over here and I'm wondering if I, it's my cavity. Scooby-Doo. I don't like icing, folks. Hate when I have an actual birthday cake because the icing is basically non-existent. Oh, icing is the best. I literally used to buy like a fucking thing of icing and just eat it. <laughs> Never watched Miss Rachel, but I think it's a safe bet to say you're cool or all. Oh, Miss Rachel's pretty cool. Stop it, Sarah. You contract through Poplin? I use Poplin. Where do you live? Do you do my laundry? No, the person that does my laundry is not name. Her name is not Sarah. I use Poplin. Frosting for dinner. Yes. Now it's making me want to go get it. Oh, you're in Iowa. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so bad for you. I know. I hate the frosting unless it's a super light whipped kind. Oh, no, I hate the super white lip whipped kind. Poplin is like a laundry app. I call it like, when I explain it to people, I call it like um, Uber for laundry, like Uber Eats for laundry. It's an app. You put in there like how much laundry you want to have done and like when you want it back. Like, do you want it back tomorrow? Do you want it back today? And then it like, there's like people that do laundry. So someone will respond and like get assigned to you to do your laundry and then they come, they pick up your laundry and then they wash it, fold it, bring it back and leave it on your doorstep. I don't have a washer dryer in my apartment, so I've been getting my laundry done for the whole time that I've been here and I love it so much. I may just continue when we go in the house. It only costs me about $20 a week, maybe like between $20 and $30 every week. Poplin's amazing. See if you have it. You might have it in your area. I had no idea about it until recently. Because before that, I was, I had somebody do the same thing, but they were at like, they worked at a laundromat. You're staying in a tiny house in the woods? Definitely saw some weird lights last night. Ooh. I don't mind like the putting the laundry in the washer or in the dryer and pressing the buttons, but I, I won't fold it. It will just sit unfolded for like ever. 
I just bought a portable washer dryer for my apartment. And I'm so happy. I hate going to the laundromat. Going to the laundromat is a lot. Link us, link us up, man. Just download it. See if you have it in your area. Go to like your app store or whatever. It's Poplin, P-O-P-L-I-N, Poplin. One pound, one dollar a pound, next day delivery. Two dollars a pound express, same day delivery. Yes. Poplin, P-O-P-L-I-N. Yes, Sarah. Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's going to let you post it, but you could try. Mm-hmm. Right, Emily. Exactly. <laughs> Mama, literally all the clothes in my house are not folded. <laughs> I love you so much, but your hello sends shivers to me. When I say hi, that makes you scared? It's not scary. Mojo! I'm folding baskets of laundry right now. I have people coming over this weekend for my birthday. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Moon, of course you never fold your clothes. Of course you don't fold them. Thank you for the hand heart. My mom always complains my kids wear wrinkled clothes. <laughs> Who cares about wrinkles? Lily was kept up by a ghost all night who kept poking her arm and whispering her name. Oh, my God. You have it, Kay? Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. You have tricks for wrinkles? Well, if you have a dryer, my trick for wrinkles is just to throw it in the dryer with an ice cube. Nice. I do fold them sometimes, though, only when my life skills worker comes in my room. That's on me about it. I don't fold my clothes. I take the shortcut. Use the dryer sheets to keep the wrinkles away. Mm hmm. You are welcome, Kay. Yeah, if you put your put something in the dryer with an ice cube for a couple minutes, it kind of like the ice cube. I don't know why it kind of like steams it and whatever it does, it gets the wrinkles out. You use a wet washcloth. It's not necessary for clothes to be flat. I don't iron either. I get it. <laughs> My kid just pulls them out of the dresser anyway. Exactly. I put the clothes away folded in their drawers. Actually, they do. But then when they're going through them, they're just like, meh, 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 grabbing shit out of there. Terry, thank you so much for the duck. JJ, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. My face has wrinkles. My clothes can too. I love that. What's an iron? <laughs> Just buy clothes that don't need ironing. You never heard of the ice cube? I'm full. I'm full. I pocket fold most of my laundry, especially for kids that pull clothes out and go nuts. What does pocket fold mean? Hi, my clothes are in the dryer. <laughs> Definitely, yeah, try the ice cube trick. Try the ice cube. I probably should try the ice cube trick, but I'm too lazy. I love doing laundry. It's so satisfying to me. So is cleaning. I know I'm weird. Hey, that is great, Joni. That is so great. Pocket folding, think Marie Kondo. Is that that cute little lady? Is that that cute little lady that, like, helps people get rid of stuff? I don't know that much about her. Yes, the cute Asian lady, yes. My clothes are in the washer and probably need to be ran again. <laughs> Upside down, smiley face. I need to know what pocket folding is. I'm going to look it up. What is pocket folding? A folding technique which applies to a mountain fold on the middle while applying two folds. What the fuck? I don't understand. I don't. I don't get it. I'm not going to try to get it right now. It's going to take me too long to get it. 
We live out of laundry baskets. Glitch in the Matrix, every one of your listeners is doing laundry right now. Type in pocket fold laundry. Blue eyes, lady. Thank you for the ducky. Okay, hold on. Pocket fold laundry. It's literally just showing me. I don't. <laughs> I'm making this face with that. The pocket folding method, a clever way to fold the bottom. Fold the bottom. Do you guys want to see this? <laughs> Do you want to see the pocket folding method? It's a laundry glitch. Yes. All right. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know if I'm in a subwave. I can't freaking tell. Oh, I am. We're in a subwave. We need four more subscriptions in two minutes and 32 seconds. Holy crap. Four more. Four more. Subwave. I have not said thank you. Hold on, guys, because I have not thanked all you guys for all of these things that you've sent me. I've been slacking. These are the subscriptions. Jesse, thank you for the rose. Elizabeth, thank you for the panther pose. Scooby Doo, thank you for the heart me. Tracy, thank you for the heart me. All American pros, thank you for the rose. Elizabeth, thank you for the panther paw. Hand heart. Infinity, thank you for the hand heart. Terry, thank you for the heart me. Terry, thank you for the duck me. Lupita, thank you for the heart me. Blue eyes, thank you for the duck. Terry, thank you for the corgi. Ooh. Jess, thank you for the heart me. Mojo, thank you for the panther paws. Whew. It's already 8 p.m. I'm glad I stopped cleaning to catch you on. Yes. Chris, thank you for the heart me. And friends, we are looking on TikTok. We are in a subwave and we have one minute and 40 seconds. Oh, Monopoly, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you. We need three more to hit the subwave in a minute and 30 seconds. I don't think we're going to be able to do that because I didn't realize. It gives you like 15 minutes, I think, and I did not even realize. Linda, thank you so much for telling me. Hello, Tamara. Hello, Warren. Shuna, thank you so much for sending a subscription. I appreciate you. <gasps> Monopoly, thank you for sending a subscription. I appreciate you too. We need one more. Persevere, thank you for sending a subscription. I appreciate you. We did it. We did it. We did it. Ooh, ooh. We did it. We did it. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are so amazing to me. I did not think we were going to just do that. I did not think it was going to happen. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. You are so sweet. You are so sweet. <sighs> that was intense. <laughs> hey, guys. Did you hear about the fire at the circus? It was intense. Get it? <laughs> Get it? It was intense. My son, Tobias, says hello. He loves you. Hello, Tobias. How are you? I love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, just subscribe. Woo! <laughs> -bum okay, hold on. We're gonna watch. Uh, we're not gonna watch how to pocket fold. Apparently, together. Shit. Mm, are we gonna watch how to pocket fold together? I don't think I can. Can we watch it on YouTube? The Maybe. bottom, like. All right, here we go. How to pocket fold. Here we go, ready? We're pocket folding. Spread your t-shirt on a flat surface face up. Okay. Fold the bottom like this. Okay. Then flip it over. Okay. Hold on, I need to turn my... I hope to... Then what? Fold the left side and the right side so they meet in the middle. Okay. And then. Fold it in half, flatten it out, then fold again. Flip 
flip it inside that pocket that was created. What? And this is it. Your t-shirt folded in a little rectangle that will save you so much space. And the fun part is that even if you dig into your drawer to take one, they won't unfold. Those are so cute. Because that pocket is keeping but do you, everything. Marta, straight. I fold t-shirts like that retail style, but do you do the this is an amazing do you do the tuck into the pocket? When you have small kids because they won't mess up easily the folded clothes. Huh. All right. Well, that was interesting. Can I <laughs> Guys, we have so many like different things crystal says too much work and then immediately thalia says oh easier than i thought <laughs> save space but not time i don't have time for that save space not time i will not be pocket folding this feels like sorcery <laughs> well that's one way to do it i can video tutorial on discord different ways to pocket fold go for it sarah send it into discord why didn't i see this before i went on my cruise in january i don't know bria thank you for the first gift i appreciate you Kay, thank you for the roses Lindsay, thank you for subscribing i appreciate you welcome to the glitch community TikTok. please welcome our new glitches i don't have the patience for that <laughs> dylan you just experienced a glitch oh my god oh my god my brain is exhausted just watching her fold. I have already forgotten what she said. <laughs> I definitely have. I choose to save the time, not the space. I get it. Peach, thank you so much for the panther paw. JMD, thank you so much for the heart me. Berea, thank you for the rose. Welcome. Nope, not doing pocket folding. Welp. Hey, let's uh. <coughs> <coughs> Let's start gathering some stories because shortly we will be, I've been on actually for 42 minutes already. I can't believe it went so fast. So in a few minutes, we'll probably play the drawing game. Thank you so much, Peach. How are you, my little peachy wonder? I appreciate you. Hello, Shania. My mom does it to her undies. It is impossible to fold my undies like that. I literally only wear thongs. <laughs> I just think they're the most comfortable. I don't like having so much underwear on. That's why y'all need Poplin. Not a guarantee you'll get a pocket folding laundry pro though. That's true. I don't have a pocket folding laundry pro, but I need to tell you. Oh no, PH, I hope you feel better. I love you. Are you okay? Missandra, you have haunted apartment story. What is the name of it? Just haunted apartment story. Um... What was I going to say? Oh, I will say my pocket, my poplin pro person, my poplin lady um, is amazing because she she separates. First of all, I don't know how she does this. She doesn't know me. She doesn't know the people in my family. Yet somehow she separates the clothes by person. She does pretty good. She normally only messes like misses one or two shirts or something, but they're separated per person. And then like all the underwear are like tied with a little ribbon together in like a little package. And like all the socks are like tied together in like a little ribbon. It's very cute. It does a very good job. I think it's just your name. Wait, it's my name? It just says anti-matrix? I'm fine. Had a small medical procedure yesterday. We'll be back to normal tomorrow. Oh, Peach. I hope everything's good. I don't have a story, but I got locked out of my computer today because AI detected someone behind me. What? Mojo. She probably looks at the sizes. We are instructed to put clothes together by family member. Zara, I thought that they were just really cool. <laughs> what else are you instructed to do? Let me make sure my laundry pros are doing that. I'm not sure anyone can get my clothes to smell as good as I do. Well, you can also supply your own cleaning products, which I do. So I put my laundry out and I also put out the laundry detergent and stuff that I want them to use. Me too, Shania. I can't wear thongs. I'll be plugging in my wedgie all day. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing any underwear when I wear thongs. I'm the same way. I hate underwear, Peach, and I hope you feel better soon. If you want to tie shoes quickly, here's a fast way to do it. It's how I always tie my kids' shoes. Hard to explain, but maybe if you looked up the fastest way to tie your shoes, that's how it's done. I think I'm good with bunny ears. <laughs> I'm just going to keep doing bunny ears to tie my shoes. Okay, so that's what it says. It literally says my name. Okay. 
<laughs> Massandra, that's so weird. <laughs> that's a poplin requirement. We also required to package everything nicely to return. They do do that. I need to see if poplin is in upstate New York. I wonder if they'll wash my French bulldog's clothes. They probably will. You do bunny ears too? Yes. Do you mind giving a rough estimate on how much laundry service costs? Uh, it's one. So they said before it's a dollar a pound for next day delivery. Like they'll pick up and return the next day. And it's $2 a pound if you want same day delivery. Like they pick up and deliver back to you the same day. I normally, I always do. Well, actually a couple times I've had to do same day because we were going on vacation or something. But I normally do next day and uh, it normally costs me between $20 and $30. Am I going live tomorrow? I am not sure. Um, I may go live tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want to make any promises. I may go live tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm going to be packing with Uncle Matrix and stuff. So we'll see. It's really not bad. It's really not bad at all, Katie. Do you have to tip? You don't have to tip, but I mean, you should tip. I do tip. But when I'm saying 20 to $30, like I'm... Um, no, it depends on how much laundry I have. Sometimes it's more than that if I'm depending on how much I'm tipping. Dog clothes, bedding, etc. You have to find a Poplin Pro willing to do so. They're out there. It's really not bad, honestly. And I feel like that is worth my time. Like the, uh, that is worth the time it saves me to go to the laundromat. Do you know what I mean? A hundred percent. I keep saying today is the day I will send the story today, but I start cooking and cleaning and don't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wear anything. Even thongs are uncomfortable. I have to wear something. I feel very uncomfortable if I have nothing between the the gal down there and <laughs> and my pants. FOMO made me start a load of towels. Bojo. <laughs> you only make 75 cents per pound. Do you make more though if it's the if it's the same day? It is worth the mental capacity for me. Yes. You are welcome, JMD. It's an app, so just see if it's in your app store and if they have it. I'll send a story in if you go live tomorrow. Oh, will you? <laughs> you should send it anyway. <laughs> if it's the same day, it's one seventy-five per pound. Same about the underoos. I might not stay. We have the kids this week, and I still haven't caught up on the last live yet. <laughs> Go, Derek. Hello, indigenous mama bear. Um, friends, friends, friends. Does anyone else have a story? I have two stories written down. Felicia, my childhood home, and Misandra. Apparently, it's called Anti-Matrix. <laughs> Does anybody else have stories that they want me to put on the list to share? Because we, you have one. Lemonade, what's the name of the story that you sent? Lemonade from TikTok. I'm writing them down. We're writing them down. It's easier than bunny ears? Nah. Can't be. Katie, thank you so much for sharing the live. And a thank you so much for the panther paw. A visit from my mom. You will be number three, my friend. Anyone else have any stories they would like me to write down? Okay, so we have not gotten to a million likes in quite a while. Month 12 of your subscription. <gasps> Jenny, thank you. Salo May from TikTok. My friend saw another dimension. Ooh, thank you. We did not get part two yet. Um, so I think I'm going to change this goal to 500K instead of a millioni. Did it change on the screen for you guys? Let me see. Yes, we're going to change it to 500K likes. We're going to try to get that maybe more con consistently, and then we can try to get um, <clears throat> back to a million. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Just ignore me. 
What did you pin, Katie baby? I can't see what you pinned. I just see that you pinned something. Oh, I have that written down already. I have it written down. Thank you, Katie, baby. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Oh, my God. I'm going to try to get off of this. You thought I froze? Oh. Guys, I really need to go to the doctor and try to get this butt taken care of because owie wowie. Hung up all your bottoms. Nice. Chris, what is going on? Are you accidentally deleting these messages? How do I, how do I undelete them? Wait, what's going on? She's purposely doing it. Wait, but why? Because I can see the messages. Oh, she's copying what people are saying? <laughs> I was like, I literally thought they were just saying normal things. And I was like, what's wrong with what they're saying right now? Well, we're going to... I just hid them from the channel, so they're gone. They should be gone. <laughs> I was I was so confused, Chris. I was like, okay, it must have been an accident. And then it kept happening. I was like, why is she mad that the person's talking about their laundry? <laughs> it's uh I I hid her from the channel on YouTube, so she shouldn't be able to come back now. Mojo, I was typing the same thing. What what were you guys typing? Oh, about Daniel. Yeah, have you guys got an update on how Daniel is feeling? Anna, thank you so much for the Panther paws. You're the best. And Stephanie, thank you for the rose. Wait, how is this person back again? What is going on? This is crazy. I don't know. Not yet. I emailed him about 20 minutes ago. Just to, you know, see how they're... We just want to know how he's feeling. Make sure he's feeling okay. That's so weird. We have somebody on YouTube who is trolling. They keep, like, copying other people's messages and putting them in chat, like, repeating them in the chat. And Chris has, like, tried to um, give them a timeout a few times, and they keep coming back. And then I, this is the second time that I hid them from the channel, which is kind of, like, blocking them. I don't know, man. Maybe it's a bot. I know, but I should be able to hide them, right? Watching the YouTube chat scroll on my TV, that is weird, right? Maybe making different accounts, but like so quickly? Hey, Tanya, how are you, my love? How's your packing and stuff going? You can't see her? All right, maybe she's gone, gone now. Maybe she is gone, 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 gone. Hopefully she's gone, 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 gone. She kept the same name the second time, right? And the same picture. Hey, Regina. I thought they were just being random until they started to copy me. Yep. Slow going, but coming along. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's play the drawing game. Let's play the drawing game. It will be so fun. Then we'll read some stories. He 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 
Boom, 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 boom. Having the kids with us is making it hard. Oh my God, I can imagine, friends. It's a dog's life. It is going very well. Thank you. You just gifted some memberships, but it didn't show? Megan, that's weird. Well, thank you so much for... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? How is this person coming back over and over again? Interesting. I just, I just did it again. I just hit her again. Drawing. No, we have two mods over there, Tonya. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. I guess, Jess. I guess, 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 guess. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, Amanda, thank you so much for the cash app. That's so sweet, I never get that stuff. Drexia, Drexia, thank you so much. That was really sweet. Oh shit, that was very sweet. I think she's hidden from anyone new that comes in. I'm not seeing her at all. Well, because when I every time I see her, I'm hiding her from the channel, which means all of her messages get deleted and she's supposed to get blocked. Thank you, Tonya, for the heart me. Maybe there's a delay with the memberships. I hope so. I hope we didn't just send memberships for nothing. Megan, thank you so much for sending them. Hello, Savannah. Um... I forgot what I was doing. Boop, 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 boop. Guys, I need to ask a question. Because... Um, yeah, the memberships normally show up right away. You're keeping your eyes peeled. Thank you, B. Um, I've had a couple people on YouTube comment and say that like they swear that they have heard these stories before. Like when I put up new videos with new stories, they're brand new. Like I'm literally making a video and I'm just scrolling through my email and picking new stories I haven't read before and reading them because I, I organize everything in my email. When something is read, it goes in like a little folder and whatever. So I'm just literally picking random ones and uh. And making videos out of them. But I've had a couple people be like, I know that you're saying that these are new, but I swear that I've heard you read these stories before. Is, is that happening to anybody else? I'm just wondering. Hey, Estelle. It is kind of creepy. It's happening to you too, Amy? And you, Mojo? Gavia, you too? That's crazy. Not you? Okay, good, Nick. You're one of those. Yes, it has happened to me too. No, I haven't. Not me. I thought I was the only one. No, it's not. It's not happening to you. Good. Um, Anxiety, what's the name of your story? I'll, I'll put you down. You'll be number five. Same here. The last one, did I swear I heard the first four stories in a live or something? You definitely did not. The video, so the videos that come out on Friday uh, on YouTube are brand new. You could not have heard them anywhere else because I post them on, I literally go into my inbox in the unread emails and I pick random unread stories and I read those and record it and I make the video out of it and those get posted on Friday on YouTube. Then, like a week or so later, I start posting those stories from that YouTube on, on my other platforms, on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. But they are on YouTube only for like a week. They were not read on lives. They were not. Eight weird stories. Okay. Okay. Jessica, why are you in here? Go celebrate your daughter's birthday, friend. <laughs> Go 
Go, go, go be with your family. Crazy friend. No. I wonder if there's a way to check if the stories are posted to like Reddit or something. Oh, maybe. No, Victoria, because I would remember those. You read them on live most of the time. I think people resend. No, I would remember. I'd remember and be like, no, I read this one already. I swear I've heard every story I ever sent in. You're so stupid. <laughs> I'm getting ready, so I'm hanging out while I get ready. Okay. All right, Miss Miss. I even said something to my husband. I was so confused. I sent bunny ears and they didn't show up. I see the bunny ears in my little thing right here that says Tanya sent bunny ears. I remember when you reread a story on live once you caught it immediately. Yes, I remember when I the ones that I've read. When I start reading them, I'm like, oh, yeah. That is so crazy. They didn't show up on my head. That's so weird, Tanya. Once in a while you're in your live, I feel like you've read a story that I've heard before. You already read my story, but it was before timestamps. If you feel like rereading one, <laughs> we'll be posting a new video tomorrow on YouTube. What is tomorrow Friday? Yes. Yes. I will be posting a new video tomorrow on YouTube. It will come out at 5 p.m. It is already done. It is already posted. And if you are a Glitch Community Plus member on YouTube, you already have access to it and you've probably already watched it. But for everyone else who is not a Glitch Community Plus member, you will see it tomorrow um, around 5 p.m. Comes out at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hi, Lily is here. Hello, Glitches. Hello, Dizzy. What's up, birthday girl? How you doing? No, but Nick, I would remember the stories. I would remember. If I started reading it again, I'd be like, oh, no, we read this one. I have I have literally over 8,000 emails. There's no way that I'm only picking ones that are sent multiple times. Like, there's no way. It's weird. Sometimes I get your videos early on Wednesday and other times I don't. Well, it depends on when I make them. They're not always on Wednesday. It depends on when I get around to it. So I always make sure that they're at least out on Thursday at some point for you guys. So you're still getting early access. <laughs> but you should do an OG reading of old stories. Some of us of some of us that are still in the chat and OG reading. Wag, 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 wag. I didn't mean to yell at you, but I love the energy. <laughs> okay. Oh, where's my little YouTube doc? There we go. It's totally. Totally. <sighs> All right, YouTube, I'm going to give you an ad and then we're going to. We're going to play the drawing game and then we're going to start to read. I got on early today, so I'm trying to get off early today. FYI. I'm trying to get off today, maybe like 11 or 1130. Here is an ad. Tell me what you get, YouTube. No squirrels. <laughs> I can't help it if I squirrel. Can't help it. Squirrel. Or all squirrels. Hello, Plymouth. No ad. All right. Add the layers. Boom, baby. I'm just getting the drawing game ready. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Woo. Woo. All right. Let me make sure that this looks correct now. It doesn't. Oh, it does. No, why does that happen? Oh, maybe it has to be like that, I guess. Hold on. Let me see on TikTok. All right. All right. Tapping is clapping. <laughs> I have YouTube on TV. Got Snapchat and Health Matters. I get such FOMO when ads come on. Why? <laughs> Philo. Yes. I actually have to make an ad for Philo <laughs> for TikTok. 
Chumba Casino, Domino's, Domino's, Max, Health Carousel, and Expedia. Only as I don't mind is the Disneyland ones for new Disney movies. Otherwise, I can all go away. Because <laughs> I might miss something good in those 10 seconds. Oh, my God, Haley. <laughs> no, if you have YouTube Premium, you don't. You won't see an ad. That's the point of YouTube Premium. If you ain't tapping, you're napping. <laughs> You don't get any ever, you lucky duck. Um, Kay, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you. Welcome, welcome. Hold on, we gotta do the puzzle, the puzzle piece thing. Jess knows what I'm talking about with the puzzle piece thing. That's what I forgot today, a nap. All right, let's play the drawing game. Uh, Pictionary word generator. Whew. Hmm. Uh, I was... Sorry, crafting instead of tapping. Blame Jess. <laughs> Why am I blaming Jess that you're not tapping? <laughs> okay. Do we do this one? This word? I'm not sure if we did this word. Bye, Minnie. That, no, uh, Govia, so that noise that you just heard. So on TikTok, for some reason... Once in a while, it comes up and says, like, I need to tell TikTok that I'm still here as a person. And it gives me, like, a little puzzle piece that I have to, like, move over into the puzzle piece-shaped hole to match it up. And uh, it makes that noise to alert you in case you didn't see it, which is great. Because she inspired me to get back in my craft room. Well, Jess, what the fuck? I write inspiring people. How dare you? How dare you inspire people? Good evening, 13. We don't know, Miss Andra. <laughs> okay, thank you for the heart, me. The puzzle was established to stop people doing lives where they're asleep. Oh, I didn't know that, Estelle. Thank you. You heard the sound too? Yes. Hello, Tiffany. Hello, Golden Toad. Hello, Bizomaniac. Changing people one card at a time. <laughs> Taking volunteers to put my kids to bed so I can dissociate into this life. <laughs> Lexi. How old are your kids? I was just blocked on TikTok. I only said hi, Auntie, and glitches, and I was blocked. Are you sure? Because if you were blocked, you wouldn't be able to be talking right now, Heather. <clears throat> oh, you're talking on YouTube. I pro I'm like 100% sure that you were blocked on accident. There's no way that you got blocked on purpose. I almost block people on accident all the time. <laughs> Literally all the time. I'm sorry that happened to you. I don't know how to fix it. If you were, you couldn't, so someone else can't block you from, like, block you forever from me. I think they can just, like, kick you out for a second or something. I'm sure it was an accident. I'm sure. What mods do I have in, uh, I have Tonya and I have Jess. All my kids are still awake and I'm totally dissociating right now. <laughs> Nine, five, and one-year-olds. I don't want to do bedtime tonight. Oh, my God. I'm going back to TikTok then. I love TikTok. <laughs> Go back, friends. Thank you, Ami. I'm good, though. We have. A, I just wanted to see if someone accidentally uh, blocked Heather Smith. Okay. 
I don't know why I'm like losing steam so fast. I'm an OG. I can't be without your videos. <laughs> Listen, if you're in the Discord, Heather, if you go back over there and like you're still blocked, like message me in Discord or something and I'll try to figure it out because I don't know how to. I'm sure I could figure it out. You've been in the shower. I'm going live in the morning and then I'll write my story tomorrow afternoon. You should go live. I maybe will go live. I don't want to make any promises. I don't like to make promises. Unless I'm going to definitely keep them. Bum, bu -bu -bu, bu -bu -bu. Okay. Oh, I saw when she got black, I see her messages disappear. Um, that's admirable, I guess. <laughs> come on you have to start to understand now you don't want to disappoint the people that you know if you tell people you're going live like when you tell people you're going live and then you can't go live don't you feel bad <laughs> don't you feel bad about it I'm trying to avoid feeling bad about it anyone with babies and toddlers my heart goes out to you I miss those days except bedtime oh my god same I miss those days so much but bedtime was a Fucking disaster. Okay, sounds good, Heather. Sounds good. I just looked again and it's saying no user found. What does that mean? What does that mean? I have three kids. Youngest is two. I do miss the little kids, though. You know, they lie to you. I don't know who says it, but they lie to you when you have little babies and you're, and you're like, oh, man, when they get up, it's when they grow a little bit older, it's going to be so much easier. And then it's not. OK, but when they get like older, older, like it's going to be so much easier. And then it's not. I feel like it just gets harder in different ways. Like they le need you less physically, but emotionally, it's way harder. Bedtime with my three year old is horrible. Yep. Have a nine-year-old and a four-year-old and a one-month-old. Bedtime is a hot mess. Oh, my God. My youngest is 33. Still miss the young years. Yeah. How do you handle more than one kid? I can't really tell you, honestly, because I have mine, technically one, and Uncle Matrix has his one. And because one is his and one is mine, if mine is here, I'm here. And if his is here, he's here. Does that make sense? So there's always two of us parenting if both of them are here. Does that make sense? I'm so tired of talking about emotions. <laughs> Hello, a 8P 1.0. Two and a six-year-old. 12 and a 13-year-old. Oh, my God. I call it the bedtime boogie for a reason. <laughs> okay, Heather, thank you. You have five. Oh, my God. I have four littles, and I'm just glad they're healthy-ish. Yeah. When they start walking, that's when it gets harder to get into everything. Yes, yes, yes. I have a two- and a four-year-old. My husband and I tag team. I put the two-year-old to sleep. He puts the four-year-old down. That's awesome that you guys are such a good team like that. My baby girl is seven and a half months, and she's an awesome sleeper. I'm lucky, but it will get worse. <laughs> Wait till like two and three. I really enjoy the more grown up Easter baskets in creating for my 17, 18, and 20 year old years. Oh, you do? That's awesome. I raised one angelic boy. That was more than enough. Yes. Single mom of 15 years to a 15 year old teenager. Just finished sending you my story. What's it called? Oh my God. And then we have to do the. I am just squirreling so hard. <laughs> a familiar grasp you are number six here we go all right we're drawing i think we drew this one already but we're gonna draw it again here we go Ooh. 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 
boop 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 Did you write Adam Sandler? Mickey Mouse? What? No, no, it has nothing to do with... Think of inside. Think of like inside. Yes! All right, TikTok. All right, YouTube. Now you got it. Now you got it. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> You're getting it. You're getting it. Oh my gosh. Okay, the answer was not what you think it was. It is lungs. The answer is lungs. All right, let's see what else we got. Let's do another one. This is so easy, ready? Let's see who gets it first. I was way off with bolo tie. <laughs> this is going to be easy. Ready? Whoop, 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 whoop. The end. This is in the hard category, too. Yeah, 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 it was, yeah, 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 it's peace, peace, woo, give peace a chance. I don't know why I like have lost so much steam from just an hour ago. I'm trying to keep it high vibe, guys. What? Pea shine, pea shine. Okay. Hmm. 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 Oh, God. Okay, we're going to try this one. <laughs> hey, Cheryl, how are you? Peace, love, and rock and roll. Is that what that is? Peace, love, and guitars. Okay. All right. We're going to try this. Here we go. Um, hmm. Okay. What if we do like this? And then we do like. This. Can you guys see this? Okay. And then we do. Can you guys see this? Then we do like this and then we do like this oh my god somebody on tiktok got it shut up yep beep, beep. yes friends are you kidding me right now how in the F, did you get this? I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. It is ski lift. What? Get out of here. Ski lift. I can't believe you guys got that. All right, how many did you get out of three? And if you did not get them all, which ones did you get wrong? Let me hear it. And then we're going to read our first story. You just learned what those are called? That's so funny. We're going to read our first story, which is, oh, you know what? Let me give you the lineup first. Oh, my God. And I never do my, like, beginning thing anymore. I should do my beginning thing, right? I feel like I should, right? Distracted for the first one? Okay. Hold the phone. First, we're going to go over these stories that we have already. So we have six stories written down. These, This is the order for everyone to know. Number one is Felicia from YouTube, My Childhood Home. Number two is Massandra from TikTok. It's called Anti-Matrix. I don't know what it's about, though. Number three is Lemonade from TikTok, A Visit from My Mom. Number four is Salomain. I can't read my own handwriting. I hope that's right. From TikTok, My Friends Saw Another Dimension. Number five is Anxiety from YouTube, 
uh, eight weird stories. And number six is Daniel. I think I can't read my handwriting again. Daniel from TikTok, a familiar group. <laughs> is that what it says? Grasp, a familiar grasp. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Let's do this. Nice, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Haley, you cheater. You're on TikTok. Okay. Th yep. Let me change that. You're on TikTok. Why did I write YouTube? I have no idea, but that is the order of what we have so far. And then we will take some more afterwards, probably because I'm sure those won't take me two hours, but you never know because it's me. Um, if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jess. People call me Auntie Matrix, and I read your weird, unexplainable stories that you send me. Um, these are the ones we're going to start with today. We have six we're going to start with today. I always read stories of the people that are in the live as long as we have stories of people from in the live so that uh, they can have their story read and people can talk about them and comment. We read the stories and then we vote on them if we appreciated that story or not. And then we move on to the next story. Also, sometimes we play uh, Pictionary or as I call it, the drawing game, which we just played. Um... If you're new here and you like that kind of stuff, please make sure you're following me, TikTok. Please make sure on YouTube you are subscribed. And TikTok, if you are, uh, if you're not aware, I am also live on YouTube in case you want to go there instead. The quality is a little bit better and you can see the stories on the screen and things like that. Um, also, you should subscribe to YouTube anyway, if my friends on TikTok, because uh, this live is recorded and it will get posted on my YouTube either later after this is over or tomorrow so that if you missed anything or you want to rewatch any stories, it will be up so you can re, uh, you can go and find the stories that you rewatch. They'll be in the, that you watched. Oh my God, blah, 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 blah. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Because I don't understand what I'm saying. They will be timestamped in the description. Please come over there. I'm Anti-Matrix on YouTube. Um, also, if you want to send in some stories, you can send them to Anti-Matrix at gmail.com. TikTok, I just put it up here for you. YouTube, Chris is going to put it in the chat. Um, also, we have a Discord. If you want to join us in Discord, we have 1,800 members in our Discord. Um, my Discord is dsc.gg slash antimatrix. And Odin just scared the shit out of me. This is my main coon, Odin. It's up here for TikTok. Uh, YouTube, Chris will put it in the chat for you. Please come join us in Discord. You can hang out with like-minded individuals and you can get announcements from me on when I'm going live, when I'm posting YouTube videos, when I'm dropping merch and all things like that. Um, <laughs> I can't with this cat. If you go to tessicavision.com or TikTok, if that's the link in my bio, it's the same website. You can see all my other links, including my merch and all my other socials. Uh, you can get my P.O. box in case you want to send me a gift, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, my gosh. Lemonade, you do not need to be here for me to read your story. If you if you're OK with me reading it, even if you're not here, then I will read it even if you're not here. But if you want to do it another time so that you can be here, that is fine, too. Um, <laughs> Odin, Odin, buddy, you like interrupted my flow. Also, I just want to let you know, both on TikTok and YouTube, but mostly on TikTok, this is my only Anti-Matrix account. So if you get um, DM'd or followed or by any other person named Anti-Matrix or with my name, with my videos, it is not me. And I will never, ever, ever DM you and try to get you to do a reading or pay for a reading or any of that stuff. I don't even do readings. He came to tell me happy birthday. He did. <laughs> he came to tell you happy birthday. Um, I think I got all the things. Did I miss anything, my friends? I hope I did not. Um, oh, TikTok, please make sure you are tapping the screen to send likes. Likes are fun. They are free and they help my my live get pushed out. We also like to count them. There's a like counter on the bottom. We're at 85K likes right now. We're trying to get to 500K before I get off. So please make sure you are tapping the screen. Oh, and lastly, if you would like to, how do you join the Discord server? Magic Cat, the link is actually up in the chat a little bit if you scroll up or actually Chris is putting it back in the chat again because she's amazing. Um, if you want to become a member and join our glitch community on TikTok Live or on YouTube, you become a TikTok Live subscriber or a YouTube member. Um, it's a pay little subscription and you get all the emotes that you can use and chat with all of our other friends in the in the glitch community. My friends, can you please put the emotes in the chat so people can see what they look like? You get a little badge next to your name. Oh my gosh. Odin buddy. Odin buddy boy. 
I can't see the chat, bud. I can't see the chat, honey buns. <laughs> what you doing? You want to say hi to everyone? <laughs> Odin. Odin. Hi. Can I please um can I can you move so I can see the so I can see the chat? You're getting cat ASMR right now. <laughs> Odie's Odie. Hey, can you not move my mic? Bud. Oh my god. <laughs> You're very handsome, and I love you very much, but I can't see anything, bud. I'm right here, okay? I'm right here. Hey, Corey. There's Odin. I see all the Odins in the chat. Can I read? I can't see nothing. Can I read? Gavia, thank you so much. <laughs> For becoming a member, welcome to the Glitch Community YouTube. Please welcome Gavia to the Glitch Community. Bye, Jess. Oh my God, have so much fun at Lily's birthday. Bye, Lily. Um, excuse me. Can you can you move over a little bit? I really, I just <laughs> come here. How about if you sit on my lap? How about that? Okay, you can sit right on my lap. Well, I read. How about that? Is that cozy? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that cozy for you? We have to get the first story out. We need to get the first one. Are you leaving? You could leave. <gasps> God. He used his claws real good in my leg. Okay, bye, Odin. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. Odin the Mighty. He is a big boy. He is giant. He's an he's a main coon. Okay, we are doing my childhood home. Let me open this one up. What is my daughter texting me? Can we get these? Can we get what? What are they? They light up like in the bin. Or whatever is in the water. It's like, it's like, it's like ice, but you can read. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. She wants to get light up ice cubes, apparently. Um, okay. Okay, gotta go. Okay. Okay. I love you. Bye. <laughs> She's so silly. <laughs> um... All right, my childhood home. Let's open this puppy up right here. Right here, right here. Yes, TikTok, please tap the screen. And also we are trying to do panther paws. We have nine out of 22 panther paws. Boop, boop, boop. Yes, you can use the emotes. Boop, boop. I'm the cool mom. I'm a cool mom. <laughs> it is Friday Eve. All right, we are reading My Child's at Home, and we are starting it at 129.43. And here we go. Hey, Matrix. Hi. 
I just want to start this off by saying I love you. And whenever I hear your voice, it brings me such a calm. Oh, that makes me so happy. Also, my daughter loves all your cats. The minute she hears your voice, she runs to see all your cats in the background and name them each. It's like her version of Where is Waldo? <laughs> so my story pretty much starts in my childhood home. This house has been haunted for as long as I can remember to the point where my family just have to learn to coexist with the ghost. Oh, okay. I could go on and on about our many experiences, but today I will just tell you about the scariest moment I had in this house. I was home alone using the computer. All the lights were off, so the only light that you could see was from the computer screen. As I was chatting on some group on some AOL chat room, LOL, yes, I am that old. Same, I remember AOL. I saw and felt something run behind me. I turned around so fast, and when I did, I was frozen in my seat. I saw a shadow silhouette of a small child on the wall, but I was the only one in the house. I slowly got up to turn the lights on, and when I did, the shadow disappeared. Oh my god! I was so freaked out, I decided to go to bed. When I laid in bed, my face was facing the direction of the wall, but then I heard someone say my name very softly behind me. I slowly turned around and saw a little boy standing next to my bed. I was so scared I couldn't move or speak. He was wearing a red shirt and blue shorts. He was staring at me and he looked like a living person, but the only issue was I know for a fact I was home alone. I closed my eyes so tight and I said a little prayer, precious blood of Jesus, cover me. I kept repeating over and over for what felt like forever, but was probably like a minute. When I opened my eyes, he was gone. After that, I grabbed my cell phone and called my boyfriend and told him to come over because I didn't want to be alone. Hold on a second. Can we just hold on a second? How did you have a cell phone and you were in an AOL chat room at the same time? (laughs) I feel like the AOL chat room. I feel like was way before cell phones. That's my question. I'm so confused. You had a Nokia. (laughs) I didn't even have a cell phone at all. Like when I was doing AOL, I think I might have had a beeper. Probably a flip phone. (laughs) Okay. All right. Hold on. Uh, Oh, my God. The Nokias. Those those friggin' brick phones. Um. I loved my Nokia. I had a I had a blue one. I had a blue Nokia. <laughs> Not the Nokia. <laughs> you had a Nokia too. Um, okay. Uh, I grabbed my cell phone and called my boyfriend and told him to come over because I didn't want to be alone. I wasn't allowed to have him there when no one was home, but I didn't care if I was going to get in trouble. I was so scared to death. Luckily, it was a warmer summer night, so I stayed outside and waited for him. We stayed outside until 1 a.m. when my parents got back. They were upset at first to see my boyfriend, but once I explained what happened and I told them we stayed outside, they understood. My mom was so used to it that she just told me, next time just tell him to go away and he will just disappear which confirmed to me that I wasn't crazy, LOL, the end. Anyway, that's just one of my stories from the house. If you want more, let me know because I have plenty of others. Of course we want more. The end though. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is, I love that your mom was like, just next time, just tell him to go away. Obviously you weren't crazy. You had shit going on at that house, but oh my God, you saw a little boy behind you. That's so scary. Yeah, everyone's saying, yes, more. Everyone is talking about their Nokia's. I had a pager too. We the for the people that had pagers, uh we called I called it a beeper. Did you do like we used to like pay me and my friends would like page each other, I guess. Um, but like send messages in numbers. Like I we could write full sentences in just numbers. <laughs> were, you, were you guys able to do that? Nokia's got color and a camera. I don't remember that ever happening. Like, not even 143, like, literal words with numbers. Like, I miss you was, like, 1177155. You know what I mean? Like, like you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> Beeper codes. T9. <laughs> like, literal words. You had to type a number multiple times to get a letter. 
I never had beeper, but my friends did. And yes, they had a whole ass code. My pager, you could leave messages. My, I remember my friend's parents had a pager where you could leave messages, where you would call and like literally say a message and it would like send it to their beeper, which is crazy. When each character counted, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay. Oh, that was a good story though. Thank you so much for sharing. I'm sorry we got a Nokia sidetrack thing, but that was a good story. That was a good story. Let's uh let's vote. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube and uh, Hold on, they made an update. Quick poll. Oh, they have gift polls now. Interesting. Uh, happy face or sad face on TikTok. Interesting. Very interesting. We're up to 105,000 likes on TikTok. Keep tapping that screen, my friends. And we have nine out of 22 panther paws. Thank you, Sola San, for sending panther paws. And thank you, Free Spirit and Dawn and Emma for the heart means. Thinking of beepers and flip phones is pure nostalgia. Oh, damn, man. I used Yahoo Messenger and had an avatar. Maybe I'm weird. I never did Yahoo Messenger. I used AIM. I remember your AIM away message was like everything. I really feel like my camera's weird today. Hold on. I feel like it should be. That feels better. There it is. That's much better. Much. You see all the random shit I have on my desk? I have these blue light glasses. I have a measuring tape. <clears throat> you only missed one story, Psych uh, Psycho Doggo. Just one. <clears throat> I used both. AIM and MySpace. I used Yahoo too. I did MSN Messenger. The shade that was thrown via AIM away messages. Yes, Megan. Megan, I'm so sorry that it never said that you sent memberships. Let me see. I feel really bad you spent your money on that. Hold on a second. Let me um let me put this one in. I read read this one on live. I just want to see if I can see on YouTube. If I go to the, maybe it'll show me that you did, even though it didn't pop up for some reason. Memberships, memberships. Memberships, no, recent member activity, it doesn't show. Oh. That really sucks, Megan. What the hell? Yes, definitely, Megan. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. Hotmail. Hey, A. Okay. Did anyone chat on I see you? No, I never heard of that one. My AIM screen name was I ate your lawn gnome. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can we please... Real quick before I go on to the next story, if you had AIM or AOL, what was your screen name? I want to hear everyone's screen names. My screen name was, I mean, I had a lot of them. I changed them all the time. But uh, my favorite screen name was Semi-Charmed. It was like Semi-Charmed Life because I loved that song, Semi-Charmed Life. It was like Semi-Charmed 3 or something like that. Goofy Girl 22, Angel Baby, Fairy Girl, Lil Douglas, E starry eyes, froggy flop, <laughs> XX tiny XX33. I love Snoopy. Oreos at midnight. Misandra, you had the same one. Lover girl, six stringed angel, <laughs> peace girl, 828, and Sokka girl. Bored when bored. Strawberry kisses. Debbie Debbie cake face. Leaf fairy. I thought I was a thug. Mine was. Hood, wait, hood quizzing chick, <laughs> crunchy python, <laughs> rainy day, tinkerbell, skater girl, miss Christie, ninja monkey rocks. 
I didn't have either, but I was Danger Kitten on Yahoo. Miss Me 86. I love <laughs> Gem Loganberry. Queens. What? Sweet JoJo. Oh, Queens. Hood Queens chick. Oh my God. <laughs> Haley Nedge. Hey, oh, Haley and AJ from Backstreet Boys. Peach Kisses. You can't remember a single one. Oh, my God. You don't remember your AIM name? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So funny. I think a lot of people had Skater Girl ones. I changed mine so many times, but I remember being semi-charmed at some point. Okay. <laughs> okay, the next story is Misandra from TikTok. Uh, and it's going to be it's named anti matrix let's <laughs> let's find it <laughs> it's been too many years <laughs> okay um let me get in here let's search for shit so it's going to be real hard to find it under anti-matrix because if i search anti-matrix every single email comes up so can you tell me you know what hold on can you tell me like your email address or when you sent it or something sandra michelle 34 Hmm. Am I spelling that right? Sandra Michelle 34. Sandra Michelle 34. Oh my god. What a freaking idiot. Not you. I don't have that, Sandra. When did you send it? I have two of them that we read already, but neither of them are called anti-matrix. <laughs> Tamara, I love you too. Hello, Bobby. I might have messed it up. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you want to do you want to look in your sentence and see if you sent it to the right place? <clears throat> Do any of you remember IRC slash MIRC? What is that? Yes, Crystal, same. We saw everything. I sent the two videos and two stories. When I search... I have one that you sent, and they both say that we read already. One was a ghost ring video, and then was well, one was Casper ring questions. That's the only ones I have. Tamara, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Glitch Community TikTok. Please welcome Tamara to the glitch community and thank you for the heart buff and free spirit. Thank you for the 20 TGI apps and that and the panther paw. I appreciate you so much. You race you resent it. Are you telling her to resend it? Hello, Miranda. It's my first time catching you on live and I can't wait to hear everyone's wonderful experiences tonight. You're all amazing and beautiful humans. Miranda, it's your first time catching me live. I feel like I've seen you here before and you're a member. And you are a member. Yes, you. We have 10 out of 22 Panther Paws. Our gifts are going slow tonight. And tap that screen, please, my friends. You know the hand thing you do when you say, hi. I saw Bailey Sarian do it when she says bye. I don't know who that is, but that's cool. I'm looking. Go to the next one. Okay. Okay. We'll go to the next one. 
Thank you for the heart puffs, my friend. Hari Clea. 13 Panda, thank you for the team bracelet. I caught the end of a few lives ago, but this is my first time when you're still reading. Yeah. Just got the email. They canceled the request. Oh, interesting, Megan. I have an aunt who's a brilliant detective for a family history stuff, and she found them. She found what? What did I miss? She does true crime and dark history. Oh, that's why. I'm not into that stuff. I mean, if I watch it, I probably, I guess, would be into it. But I'm not really into true crime. And I'm definitely not into history. Bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, bum, bum. Where is everyone tonight? Not very many people in the live. No, there's not, right? It's a very light night. I don't know where everyone is. They're not here. All right, hold on one second. Let me find the next one. We're going to skip going to Lemonade on TikTok. Lemonade, please let me know that you still... Oh, wait, you're the one that wanted me to read it anyway. Lemonade, a visit from my mom. Let's find that. A visit from my mom. A visit. Hmm. Is it mother? Hmm. A visit from my mom? No. We're having trouble finding people's stories tonight. A visit from my mom? Oh, lemonade. I cannot find your story. Visit. From my mom? We're having trouble today. All right. Mm, well, thank you so much, Peach. Thank you so much, Peach. For the panther paws. Do you need to refresh your page? No, I do not. I do not. I have refreshed it many times. Okay, uh, I'm going to skip over lemonades because they're not here and I can't find it. So I can't even ask them any more questions. So we're, that means we're going to be going to Salomane. My friend saw another dimension. Here it is. We got one. <laughs> we found one. Whoop, whoop. Let me write it down. My friend saw... Another dimension. Thank you so much. Peach for the feather paw. Carol, thank you for the heart me. Peach, thank you for the heart me. All right. Meow. Here we are, friends. We are starting this one at... What time is it? 1.48.09. Here we go. Content warning for seizures and marijuana use. Hi, Andy. Hi. I've been watching your stories from the very beginning and you make me feel seen. My whole family has unexplainable experiences, but the story I'm about to tell you happened to my friend and our group. So to understand the story better, it's important to know that my friend group and I regularly smoke marijuana together yes i know i'm saying the i'm saying the j on purpose it's just how i like to say it it's fun peach thank you so much <laughs> and are quite experienced so we know what to expect this particular instance was nothing like we'd ever experienced before we were at my friend's house and had managed to acquire some medicinal marijuana and had been warned that it was quite strong. We pace ourselves and everything seems normal at first. We're laughing, dancing, and having a great time. Suddenly, one of my friends begins to feel quite nauseous and runs to the bathroom. I begin thinking to myself, it's okay, we've been through this before, nothing bad is going to happen. Boy, was I wrong. My friend begins to go completely pale and her hands seize up and proceeds to have a micro seizure. Of course, I freak out and leave the room to get her parents. And that's when the power goes out. All the lights in the house turn off, leaving us in darkness. The power eventually turns back on and my friend comes back to consciousness. When she tells me her version of the story, I get chills. 
Back to when she was having a seizure, she remembers switching from this reality to another. She tells me that this other reality was darker and quieter except for a loud banging noise in the distance. She goes on to tell us that she's going between realities. She sees these tall, dark shadow figures on all fours walking towards her. She described them as long and thin and despite being on all fours, were very tall. She tells us that she senses that they appear to be mimicking and teasing her, and that's when the lights go out in our reality. Whenever she describes the story to us, she calls it the day she died. I truly believe she saw something that night, and it still gives me chills. Thank you for listening. What do you think she saw? The end. I don't know. Obviously, I'm going to be quite honest with you. My first thought is that that was laced with something that was hallucinogenic. That's my first thought. Um, I don't know what she saw though. I don't know, but that wouldn't, I was, I was going to say that wouldn't. Okay. Here's a, here's a question. When the, all the lights went out and they went back on, you said you went to go get the parents. Were the parents there and the lights went out and the parents saw the lights go out? That's my question. Oh, you're reading, you're reading something else. Sorry. Hold on. I forgot where I'm looking. I'm looking on TikTok. The parents saw. Okay, so in that case, it was not the drugs. (laughs) Because the whole, all the lights wouldn't go out and that whole thing wouldn't happen if that was laced with something, right? The mimic verse. Ooh, that's creepy. There's a dolly painting with creatures like that in it. Really? I don't know what she saw. MJ can expand the mind. Substances assist people and sense to sense wavelengths we can visit through meditation or dreams. I do know and believe that. On certain things, I felt like I was in a different dimension. When we intentionally do, uh, when we do it intentionally, we usually avoid places like that. Oh, I understand what you're saying. The lights were out for a decent amount of time. No, it has to be. I definitely think it's connected. Definitely think it's connected. Oh my god. They finally came through. Megan, thank you so much for gifting memberships. Oh my goodness. Tiffany got a membership. Simone got a membership. Jordan got a membership. Emily Danielson got a membership. Kelsey got one. Gamer123, Andrea Kelly, Nicole, Felicia, and Cassie all got memberships. Holy smokes. Thank you so much. You are so generous. I really, really appreciate it. Welcome everybody to the all the new members of the Glitch community, my friends on YouTube. 100%. I 100% believe that. I don't know. Hold on. Is your friend around? <laughs> I want to look up this. They Someone said there are creatures in a dolly painting that look like that. And I would like to like look them up. Look it up and see. If I can like find find it. She's at work. I was going to try to pull them up and be like, is this what they looked like? But I am not finding them. It is a very, very quick search that I just did, though. Whoop, whoop, whoop. She's at work. Well, either way, I have no idea what that was. What do you guys think? I mean, it sounds like she definitely saw something else, but she, like, went over to the other dimension. And it's so weird that, like, as she was traveling, right? In this dimension, she was, like, having a seizure. That's really scary. That is so crazy. Thank you so much for sharing that story. (laughs) What do you guys think? Does anybody have any... Thank you so much for following Zara. She's okay now. I'm so glad she's okay. And that never happened to you guys again. Maybe this dimension she was seizing because it was a lot for her body to shift dimensions. Oh, indigenous mama bear. Yes. Dimensions are on top of each other. She must have been bouncing back and forth kind of. Oh, you guys all have such good insight. I really like it. Try elephants three. Are you talking to me? Is that the name of it? Hmm. 
Hmm. Good thought, right? Never happened before, never happened again, luckily. Interesting. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, remind me of Stranger Things, like 11 going to the upside down or something. Oh, yes. All right, we're going to vote. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube and happy face or sad face on TikTok. Do your thing. The ooh, okay. Thank you for the superpower. And um, Peach, thank you so much for sending all of the Panther paws. And Robin, thank you for the roses. And Rosa, thank you for the team bracelets. And Peach, thank you for the team bracelets. And Tamara, thank you for the heart me. And oh my goodness. And Kay, thank you for the passion rose. And I think that we hit our gift goal finally. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you. Let's do. Hmm. Oh, you know what I want to do? That's so pretty. I love the coral. Let's do the coral. Guys are at 141.2K likes. Keep tapping that screen, TikTok. I know it's hard today because we really do not have a lot of people on TikTok today. Or on YouTube. It's very, it's a very uh it's a very slow night tonight, and that is okay. Love the cool gifted animations. There are some beautiful ones. There are beautiful ones, right? Christy! I did start already, but we only just read our second story. Easter weekend. You're right. You're right. Good night, Peach. I love you. Thank you so much for your generosity. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful night. And thank you for the coral. It's beautiful. You can't find your story. I remember typing it and sending it. I blame the ghost. <gasps> Oh my God. Today was a rough day. Maybe other people are feeling that. Wait, why was it a rough day today, Rabbit Food? Oh, the twinkling hanging lights are so pretty too. We'll do that one next, if I remember. Hopefully I'll remember. Ali, thank you so much for sharing the live. I appreciate you. Okay, Miss Andra, sounds good. Okay, we are going to move on to anxiety eight. Weird stories. Let's find it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Me too, Emily. Sounds good, Drea. Have a lovely sleep. Eight weird stories here. They are here. They are. And we'll read them now. Ooh. Okay. Eight weird stories. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, we're starting this at one fifty-seven. Nope, it's gonna change. One fifty-eight. Oh, five. Here we go. Hey, Auntie. Hi. I'm back with more weird stories of things I've experienced. Story one. I was in kindergarten and I remember I had been sick. And so my parents had me sleeping on the couch in the living room. The couch that was there at the time faced straight into the kitchen, right to the kitchen sink. I remember it was dark, but the moon sort of lit everything up and I could see somewhat in the dark. I had awakened and I was just lying there with my eyes open staring at the ceiling and then I rolled over facing the kitchen and all of a sudden this man walked straight out from where the sink was and he walked right towards me. I remember I was shocked and he was dressed funny. I watched him walk straight towards me and right before he got to me, I shut my eyes really tight and I was afraid to move or even breathe. I don't know how long I waited, but eventually I opened my eyes and he was gone. And so I rolled over towards the back of the couch and plugged my ears and shut my eyes. I always did that when I was scared. I never wanted to hear anything when I was scared. So I would plug my ears until I fell asleep. That was story number one. Oh my God. He walked like out of the literal kitchen. Like out of the sink? Like he just like, boop, right out of the sink? What? That's very scary. <laughs> That's totally so scary. <clears throat> Him. 
Oh my God. Okay. Story number two. I was in fourth grade and my best friend at the time and I were playing checkers in the little hallway upstairs at my house. She was trying to cheat and she started an argument with me when I told her to stop. She was a spoiled girl and believed she could do anything she wanted because her mom told her she was the most beautiful girl in the world. I don't know, shaking my head, LOL. We started fighting and she yelled that she was going to leave and I said I didn't care. She left and ran to her grandpa's house, which was just across the street. I was really upset and I just sat in the middle step of the stairs holding my arm. I honestly don't know what I was doing, but I was focusing really hard on my arm, just rubbing my arm and feeling angry. I actually sat there for a while pretty angry until I snapped out of it and went downstairs to the living room where my mom was. The next day was a school day and my friend showed up and she had a giant scratch and bruise on the same arm I was rubbing the day before after our fight. She told me she got hurt after she got home. I don't remember how, but it freaked me out and I felt horrible like somehow I did it. Do you think that that was just a coincidence? If that was a coincidence, that is quite a coincidence. Like that's freaking weird that you were rubbing your arm and she was hurt on her arm. I feel like maybe you guys were like connected somehow. I don't, I don't think that was a coincidence. I don't think so. <clears throat> that's so weird. Okay, story number three. It was summer and I was about 16 and my mom and I were leaving to go to my brother's place. I walked out the door before my mom and was about to walk down the steps, but before my foot could even touch the first step, it was like I was, I hit something solid and I was suspended in the air and moved a few inches over. And when my mom stepped out the door, I hit the cement sidewalk like a safe. I don't understand how that happened or how I didn't twist my ankles and how hard my feet hit the sidewalk and I did stumble. My mom froze at the top of the steps and she said, what the hell was that? And asked me if I was okay. The little weirdness still baffles me because I still don't understand exactly what happened. Wait, so... Hold on. You walked out the door and you're about to walk down the steps, but you like froze in the air. That's so weird. That is so weird. Bobby, that's actually what I was thinking about the last one. It could also be the opposite. Like she hurt her arm and somehow you could tell. Yes, I don't. I don't. When I was saying I don't think it's a coincidence, I didn't mean that she caused it. I don't think she caused it. I think it's what you said, that she hurt her arm and, and you guys were connected. So she was able, like you were able to tell. Agreed, agreed, agreed. That was, right, Magic? Hello, Dee's dolls. Okay, story number four. I was alone at my parents' house one day in my early 20s. My parents were gone shopping and I was in the kitchen on the phone with my boyfriend talking about stupid shit, lol. I had seen out of the corner of my eye my mom's red car pull into the driveway through the door window. I even walked over to the door and was staring at the red car and told my boyfriend that my parents just pulled into the driveway and that I had to go help bring in the groceries. I walked over to the counter and told him bye and set my cell phone down and when I turned back around to head back to the door to go help them, there was no car in the driveway. I just stood there staring at the empty driveway like what the fuck did they forget something and leave again my mom has never been to just uh my mom has never been one to just do things without leaving a note or calling i grabbed my phone and called her and asked why they left again she said they hadn't been back at all and it will be about 20 minutes before they got home that gave me a creepy feeling and i begged for her to drive faster oh my god that one is really scary That was really scary. I don't know in that one if that was some sort of, I'm not going to say it was a mimic situation because like you didn't experience the person being in the house and then they weren't there. Like you saw the car pull in the driveway and then the car wasn't there. So I don't know if you died, did like a little time hop back or something, giving Coraline. So weird. You've been a subscriber for 389 days, Jen. Woo! Thank you so much for being such a longtime subscriber. And oh, I wanted to say thank you so much to Kay for sending subscriptions. I appreciate you so much. Kristen Stewart got a subscription. Carol Thornhill got a subscription. And Marlana got a subscription. And Legend of Dobby, thank you for the heart me. I appreciate you guys. Carol, thank you for the Rosa. Stephanie, thank you for the 
finger heart. You guys are amazing and generous and I appreciate you so much. That reminds me of the one of when the person's boyfriend came over and she heard him and then he really came in. Yes, that's what I was thinking at first, but that's more of like a mimic situation. Um, in this case, no one actually came in. She just saw the car, which is really weird. Alyssa, thank you for the heart, me. Okay. Whew. Oh, wait, we got more. Sorry, that was four. There's eight of these. Okay. Story number five. Yet again, I was home alone at my parents' house. My apartment didn't allow pets and they had my cat. LOL. Anyways, this was the same year as the previous story. I was in the bathroom, bathrooming, as one does. <laughs> I've never heard someone say bathrooming. LOL. The bathroom is right there by the kitchen, which I always hated. Anyway, I was bathrooming, minding my own business, when all of a sudden I hear this loud ass crash, like the kitchen ceiling caved in or something. Seriously, a good thing I was already where I was because I would have pissed my pants. It scared me that bad. Good thing you were already bathrooming. I was terrified to leave the bathroom and see the shambles that the kitchen might be in. I was picturing the worst. But then it hit me. My cats were out there and I panicked more. So I forced myself to open the bathroom door and was expecting to see the ceiling caved in and having to find the cats. I opened the door and found nothing. Everything was fine. I looked everywhere to see if something fell. Nope. All three cats seemed a little weirded out too, though. I went back to the kitchen and just stood there. I didn't stand there very long because my parents came walking in and asked me what was wrong because I looked freaked out. That is crazy. That is so crazy. I had literal goosebumps thinking about those two stories. Yes. One time when I was so high off the devil's lettuce, I imagined the pizza man pulling up to my house and I wanted to beat him to the door because my dogs and I opened it and no one was there. <laughs> oh my God. You like this person's writing style? Yes. Hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> My butt, my totally butt hurts. That's crazy about the kitchen. Crazy kitchen one. Okay, story number six. In this one, I was 18 and it was a summer and the town I grew up in was having a small, um, I'm just, I'm adding words that aren't even there. The, t <laughs> the town I grew up in was having a summer thing, which I never go to. And because the town is small, the house is like two blocks from everything. So we could hear the bands playing music. The town gatherings usually only last until 11 p.m. or midnight. I had fallen asleep relatively early that night, probably 9.30 p.m. And I was awakened by loud music playing. But this was different. It wasn't anyone singing. It was piano music. The closet I can, com it says closet. Okay but I think it means closest. The closest I can compare to what I was hearing is Beethoven's Fur Elise. And it was loud. If you don't know Fur Elise, it's that. Doo -doo 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 That's Fur Elise. I was irritated. I looked at the time and it was a little after 1 a.m. I was mad that I was woken up by this music that shouldn't have been playing this late hour. And so I didn't change or even put shoes on. I just ran right up to town, ready to bitch to the whole entire town, I guess, LOL. But there was no one uptown it was dead everyone had gone home but i could still hear the music playing i was still mad but now i was freaked the fuck out because where was this music coming from i went home and went back to my room and i realized it was in my head the music was playing for me or from me i don't know but i started crying and i asked wherever or whoever was making this music to play to please stop and it slowly faded away i just curled up on my bed and fell back to sleep utterly exhausted i asked my mom if she happened to hear any music playing at all during the night and she said no i wonder if anyone has experienced anything like this oh my god did it's same hannah i used to be able to play it on the piano too oh hell no exactly exactly guys has that happened to anyone else? <gasps> Gina, thank you for the galaxy. Oh my God, it was so pretty. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Alyssa, thank you for the heart me. Can I resubmit a story with new pictures? Well, we already read the story, Gina. I'm a confuse. Guys, has, any has that happened to anybody else before? <laughs> All right, we are going to keep going. That, was, uh, that has never happened to me. That's never happened to me. 
But that's really weird. That's really, really weird. Okay, story number seven. I worked at Walmart for three years and unloaded truck. During the first, I'm sorry, during the last few months of working on truck, I started feeling like I couldn't do my job correctly and it did seem that way. Something just felt off when I went back to receiving. I just started feeling tired and I started having anger issues and would just get pissed off at my coworkers for no reason. One day I was just pushing the line and I was getting irritated with everyone. I walked into the truck to push the line down and while I was walking out, I saw this dark shadow walk through me. I stopped, looked around, and no one seemed to notice. Shortly before truck ended, I just flipped out at this one kid for being slow. I couldn't stop myself, and my coach did end up lecturing me. I walked to the family bathroom, shut the door, and just broke down. My outbursts were not normal. The last few months of working, I had so much anxiety and this heaviness. I felt like I was losing my mind. Sometimes as soon as I got to work, my anxiety would kick in and I would start shaking. It was bad. I don't know what was causing it because I don't I didn't have issues with anyone towards the end, but I swear something bad was lurking around in the receiving area. Question, that's the end of that little one, but question, when you left and stopped working there, did you feel better, like immediately? Because stuff like this can definitely affect your mood, 100%. Yes, it had to be something there then. It was definitely something there that was affecting you, 100%. 100%. You felt much better. That's crazy. Did you see a TikTok video of the guy feeling himself at work with the entity behind him? Yes, I did a video on that, silly goose. Walmart will do that to you. You work there. You work there too. Who threw you? Yes. Okay. This is story number eight. This is the last one in this email. This one's a little bit of a longer one than the last ones. Okay. Throughout my life, after my grandmother died when I was seven, my mother and I would go visit her aunt, my grandmother's youngest sister, who lives a few hours away. She used to go back and forth from living in this apartment building to living in a house. For the past 12 years, though, she has finally just stayed in the apartment building. I'm convinced that her apartment unit is haunted. The hallway to the bathroom and bedroom freak me out. I always feel like I'm being watched when I'm walking down it. I never liked being left alone in that apartment, and I would choose to be... Because while I'm having issues reading, I never liked being left alone in that apartment, but I would choose to be because while I love my aunt, she drives me batshit crazy. LOL. This one time, my mom and aunt left early one morning to get coffee and whatever else, and I stayed to sleep a little bit more. I woke up because I felt like I was being stared at. I started feeling very uneasy and scared. I had to convince myself to go down the two flights of stairs down to my great grandma aunt's apartment because I couldn't take being alone in that apartment anymore. This woman was my aunt's aunt, my grandmother's mother's youngest sister. My grandmother's mother's youngest. So your great grandmother's youngest sister. LOL. I don't even know if I got that. I went down there and told her my issue and she welcomed me in with open arms, of course, but completely dismissed everything else I said. Basically told me it was all in my head and I made it up. Not real. Another time, the same thing basically happened. My mom and aunt left and I stayed to sleep a bit more and I woke up to what I thought was them talking in the kitchen. But when I got up to look, I was the only one in the apartment. My other aunt had moved to an assisted living due to old age, so I couldn't just leave. I just turned on the TV and I remember leaving it on Jersey Shore, which I don't normally watch and had turned up the volume really loud. Another time I actually got up, another time I actually got up the same time as them and decided to take a shower. Now my aunt is a clean and neat freak. She cleans her shower before and after she showers. What? That's a lot of, that's like a lot of cleaning your shower. Her apartment is always immaculate. When I was done with the shower, I got out and grabbed my towels. And when I looked back, at the mirror, it was not only all fogged up, but it looked like someone had smeared toothpaste all over the mirror and in horrible handwriting wrote the name Matthew with one T. Now I have a cousin who is 10 years older than me named Matthew. His birth name is actually Mateo, but my aunt, mom's sister, decided to just call him Matthew. Yes, one T. Matthew is alive as well and well, but he is also mentally challenged and has autism. He is completely dependent on my mom's sister. I have no idea why my cousin's name was there but my aunt told herself that I was playing a prank on them and had smeared toothpaste on the mirror and wrote Matthew. Why would you do that? She didn't get mad or anything. She cleaned the mirror and just, and was just whatever about it. She told herself that I did it. 
I did take pictures and I had them uploaded to my photo bucket account, but they locked me out unless I pay for it. So all my pictures are lost to me. Oh no. If you ever bring it up, she just says, yeah, the prank you played. My mom did try telling her that I don't play pranks, but people tell themselves things to make themselves feel better. Yes, they definitely do. I guess if that is what makes her comfortable while living there, I guess that's fine. But I always wondered what happened, just like all the other weird stuff has happened to me. That has happened to me. The end. Photo bucket. Yes, I remember photo bucket also. The end. Those were such good little stories. Thank you so much for sharing all those stories. She's definitely saying that to make herself feel better. Like, there's no way. There's no way. She thought you were just pranking her and writing Matthew on the mirror. Doesn't make any sense. <sighs> well, Gina, if we, if we read your story already, I'm not going to reread your story, my love. Feel like the numbers have increased what numbers are you talking about the numbers in the room not really there's only 191 people it's definitely a slow night and that's okay that happens okay i'm normally too scared to listen to these stories before bed i'm so proud of you you're doing a good job it's 1 30 a.m those were really good yes are you leaving hannah goodbye i love you your body's even tired now you're trying to listen and relax and go to sleep good night hannah okay we are going to vote. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. Thank you so much for sharing. We're going to pop this one in the red on live category. And then we are going to... The next one I have is Daniel. A familiar grass. A familiar grasp is up next. Uh, Daniel, I just want to double check that you are here before we read it. Thank you for sharing the live, my darling. My darling D's. I will also go to sleep. Good night, Bobby. Good night. We're just making sure that Daniel is here. Daniel. Daniel. If you want to send stories in, you can send them to antimatrix at gmail.com. Um, it's on the screen for TikTok. And in YouTube, Chris will pop it into the chat, either Chris or Haley. Send away. No, not graveyard, Daniel. Sorry, Charlie. I w we wish, right? We wish that Graveyard Daniel would send his, but he is recovering right now. I hope he's doing well. Oh, Daniel, where are you? Are you here? I am ready to read your story. Oh, it's Luna Baluna. <laughs> Oh my God, Jacqueline, that was so cute. Thank you so much. I didn't never seen that one before, the watermelon love. Thank you. And Judy, thank you so much for the bunny ears. That was really, really cute. It was called watermelon love. Daniel, you're killing me, boo-boo. I have it up. I have it ready. We're ready to read your story. We're ready to read your story. We're ready to read. Oh. All right, I'm going to give Daniel another minute. And hopefully, they will come through. Keep your eyeballs out for Daniel. A familiar grasp. A familiar grasp. 
Erica, are you here fighting an astral or psychic? I didn't I didn't open your email until right now. I didn't You think Daniel's asleep? All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um all right, Daniel. That's okay. You're working on your sum six pack. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate it. It is a slow night tonight, and that is okay. It happens sometimes, you know? We are at 188k. <laughs> you want to play the drawing game again? <laughs> the drawing game. <laughs> I know the little Easter guys. I hear the little Easter guys are cute. I can't see them. Um, I'm going to just go grab another water because this is almost gone. I'm very thirsty. Um. <clears throat> All right. Hold on one second. I'm going to go grab some more water. I love you all. Oh, my God, my butt. <sighs> oh, are you so crazy? Everybody's so crazy. Oh, my friends. Oh, my friends. <laughs> Hold on. Is that your laundry order behind you? Yes, it is. That is actually <laughs> two weeks of laundry orders behind me. One that we have just been opening up and taking laundry out of and not put away yet. <laughs> and then the other one that came back today. So hopefully we'll put them away. Isn't that so bad? I'm not even like doing my own laundry and I'm still not even putting it away. Like, what is that? You need to take, get a standing lift desk so you can stand for a minute. <sighs> I can't do that. I can't do that anyway, just because I have like literally so many things on this desk with wires that are all connected to different things. Like I couldn't be moving it up and down. It would just like fuck up all my shit. Adult life is exhausting, right? <laughs> I spy with my little eye something purple. What did you see that was purple? Oh, there's a purple pillow. Might as well just move it to the new house. <laughs> you mean the laundry? Does it matter if it's clean and folded? No, but it's taking up room on the floor. You know? We've only read three stories. It is a slow, slow night. 
Good night, Amanda. Good night. We love a hydrated queen. Adulting is the scariest part in life. Oh my God. When do we move? Not sure yet. We didn't get our closing date yet. We are impatiently awaiting our closing date. One was eight stories. You're right. So technically we read eight. We read 10 stories already. Technically 10. Megan just said the same thing. <laughs> no, I'm not leaving yet. I'm not leaving yet. I'm not leaving. Don't you worry. I'm just stretching my butt. I have to go to the butt doctor tomorrow. Does anyone live on Long Island and have a... Uh, <clears throat> uh, hold on. Okay, good night, Magic Cat. Does anyone live on Long Island and, and can recommend uh, an orthopedic person? Yeah. No, not a GI doctor. I have one of those. I need to get my butt fixed. It's been a literal year. It's been literally one year since my tailbone started hurting and I thought I just bruised it and it would go away and it would maybe take a while, but it's been an entire year. No, I, something my tailbone, something's wrong with my tailbone. Um, Orlin and Cohen, where are they? You know what town they're in? Um... I don't want to go to a chiropractor. I've never been. I'm actually scared. <laughs> I'm actually scared to go to a chiropractor. Um, all over Long Island? No, but do they have not Like, where is their office? Oh, is that just the name of, like, a franchise place? I do also have sciatica, but that's just, like, a normal thing that I have, and it's, it's fine. You know, it's, sometimes I tweak my back, and then my sciatica acts up, and it's fine. Um, other times, it's not. I also have, like, slight scoliosis, which is why my butt sticks out, because my spine kind of curves out more than it should. Um, and I have really, really bad arthritis in my lower back. Like, you can't even... The reason I don't want to go to a chiropractor, too, is you can't touch me. Like, if you literally just touch me, like, this hurts. Just, like, touching hurts chiropractor saved your life what part of long island preferably suffolk county not too far east though like the middle-ish like the middle-ish of the island if your coccyx is out it can hurt your posture girl same you definitely need a chiropractor i need an x-ray yes i definitely want to get they've helped me so much i have a ton of joint issues I had to get a bunch of procedures done on my spine because of a chiropractor. That's scary. That's what I'm talking about. You might have broken it and didn't heal right. I don't know, man. I have no idea. Um, but I want to go to uh, an ortho because I want them to, like, scan it. Like, either an x-ray or whatever. And, like, make sure nothing's, like, really, really super wrong in there. <laughs> um... All creators are struggling right now. I'm wondering if people are leaving because of the potential ban. I mean, I'm not leaving because this is my main source of income. So, right. And ortho. So if anyone has any suggestions, uh, re referrals or recommendations is the word I'm looking for for Long Island. Preferably like the middle-ish of the island would be great. Ask for an epidural steroid injection. Those are what saved me. Ooh, I don't know if I want that. My tailbone started hurting after I had my IUD placed. Wait, why, Monopoly? Do you know why? You have to go back and back and back to chiropractors. Yes, exactly. There's bad ones and good ones. Yours hurt, your tailbone hurts when it rains? You want an MRI, no chiropractor until then. They might mess you up. Yes. MRI usually picks up more. Well, because uh, x-ray is just for the bones, right? And then an MRI is for like all the muscles and the tendons and all the things. I wouldn't do an epidural. It breaks down discs over time. See an ortho, not a chiropractor. Yeah, I want to go to an ortho first. 
Um, see a neurologist. No ortho or anything else when it comes to your spine. How would a neurologist help my coccyx? My coccyx is a bone. You had to have a hysterectomy because of an IUD. That's crazy. Has your tailbone been giving you issues before or after having your kiddos? No, I had my kid. I had my kid like 10 years ago. Um, and it just started hurting a year ago. It doesn't sound like spinal's neuropathy. I thought neurologist was nerves. Good evening, Claire. It's my, it's not my spine. It's my, it's my literal tailbone. I know your tailbone is part of your spine. A neurologist also works with the spine. You need an MRI. Yes, I want to get those things done, but I have to go to someone first. I can't just like be like, hey, give me an MRI. The nerves are wrapped around the spine. Your butt pain can be due to the spine. My spine causes severe pain from my waist down. But it's, okay, so the reason I thought that it was bruised, right, is it's literally my tailbone. And I bruised my tailbone once before when I went sledding and I was bouncing on the sled. But that went away and it's this exact feeling. And it went away after that, you know, after a couple of, maybe like a month or two or something like that. This has been around for a year, but it literally feels like it's bruised, like as in like, it's fine when I'm walking around and stuff, but if I sit too long, it fucking, oh my God, does it hurt when I move and get up? It's like it's bruised and I'm sitting on a bruise or something. Maybe you fractured it. I could have. Go to the ortho first, get the MRI. That'll tell you it might be your spine. Yes, I definitely want to do that. It's a nerve. How is that a nerve? Maybe it's cracked. No, there's no redness or bumps. He, he looks at that area a lot. <laughs> he would have noticed something. <laughs> it's. I feel like if it was a pinched nerve, it would hurt all the time. Does that make sense? It doesn't feel like a pinched nerve. I've had pinched nerves before. My pelvic bone got bruised because I was in labor for three days. A year and a half later, I could still feel it when I would take a wide step. That's so crazy. Nerves gets pinched in certain positions. Could be running. I wonder if you have spinal stenosis. It's a narrowing of the spinal cord that causes pain. I really fucking hope not. But my uh, Uncle Matrix's PT, physical therapist, is like convinced that he knows what's wrong with me and he can fix me with physical therapy. I'm like, how is he gonna, how is he gonna do that? <laughs> but he did like diagnose uh, Uncle Matrix's something that he has that is not what he's being treated for without like him even going to the doctor. He was like telling him symptoms and he was like, you have this. He's very smart. He knows a lot of things. I just really wanna get a scan first before I go have him fix my butt and hopefully he could fix my butt. <laughs> Search disc pain in the lower spine, S1 and lower. There's a diagram online of nerves in the tailbone. Maybe an injury that never healed properly. Thank you, Emily Dickinson. <laughs> I have stenosis. Does not sound like it. Okay. I need an MRI, but my doctor keeps refusing. I'm pretty sure I have arthritis in my spine. Have you ever tried acupuncture? I have not. There's an Orlin and Cohen in Bohemia. Where's Bohemia? Let me see how far that is from me. Thank you for the sushi. Orlin and Cohen. You guys, you guys recommend Orlin and Cohen? Oh, there's actually, actually, there's one closer to me than that. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday. I can call tomorrow. All right. We'll try to call tomorrow. My mom's Cairo found her abdominal aneurysm and saved her life. Ooh, sometimes doctors are keen and gifted. Yes. I've heard good things about acupuncture, but I've never tried it. A lot of places are closed tomorrow. 
Well, I checked and it says they're open. The hours online at least say they're open. Nerves are what conduct all pain throughout the spine and anything pinched can cause leg pains. I'm not having leg pains. I know that when my sciatica is a nerve thing because when I tweak my tweak my back, the sciatica, and I have that nerve pain that goes from my lower back all the way down my right leg, all the way to my little toesies and the tingliness. PT will strengthen the muscles and bone to help with the pain. But then what happens when I stop doing it and they're not as strong anymore? Then it's going to hurt again. That happened with my knees. I did PT for my knees because my knees are bad. I have chondromalacia patella mal tracking and I did PT for my knees and it did help. And then I stopped doing the PT and now they hurt again. <laughs> Whatever they tell you, you, get second and third opinions if they say anything is spine. I've seen so many and I've seen so many and shocked what some told me versus the truth. Really? You don't stop. But I will. But I'm telling you, I won't do it forever. I won't do it forever. I know myself. I definitely won't. PT is a lifestyle change at our age. <laughs> My leg is just tingly constantly. Yay, back issues. Woo! Come to New Jersey for your MRI? No, that's too far, boo-boo. You should be able to do arthritis on an x-ray. You can see arthritic changes in joints. Yes, you can, because I got an x-ray on my back, and they told me that I had, uh, this was years ago, a couple years ago, that I had the arthritis. Do you listen to coccyx pain relief frequencies? No, I haven't tried that. Any pain from your head to your tailbone and beyond is conducted through spinal nerves and beyond. And beyond, I know me too. <laughs> There are some on YouTube. Wouldn't that be nice? Thanks for hanging out and chatting with me, guys. I have a slip disc in my neck that makes my arm go numb when I turn my head sometimes. Funsies! <laughs> Super fun! You know the PT exercises to do them at home. Oh, no, I know. I never actually went in to do them there. My sister's friend is a physical therapist, and he sent me... Uh, the exercises for my knees. He sent me like plans and he sent me like, we do this and then after this, this many weeks, you're going to move on to this. And I have it all and I did it. And it was great. And then I just stopped doing it. I have them. Which cat? We got two cats in the background right now. Uno, due. And Odin, you can't see him, but he is sleeping like a big hot mess over there on the floor. Bruised bones can take longer to heal than actual fractures. I know. And uh, I just wish that, I mean, a whole year though, my daily life is numbness, weakness, throbbing, stabs, and dull aches constantly with the occasional oh shit moments if I move wrong. Oh God, Chris, and that sounds terrible. I have fibromyalgia. I can't sit or stand for a long period. Ugh, I'm so sorry. I have minor ligament tears in my knee and also sciatic nerve and same leg and get numbness. Electricity leg shocks in my little toe and bottom. Not nice. Woo, the electricity shocks. Woo. I limp when I run. More of a weakness though. Not hurt or anything. Always done it. Interesting. Hello, Stella. Gray on the bed. That's uh, Natasha. Hello, Reese. I do DoorDash every day, all day, because my husband got hurt at work. Oh, okay. Sometimes I'll be sitting, stand up, and it feels like cold water running down my back. Ooh. That's interesting feeling. I can almost feel that, actually, what you mean. I bruised my tailbone years ago, and it lasted the majority of a year. It's been a, yeah, it's been a year. I have lower back pain, but it has gotten better since my gallbladder was removed. Oh, mine's gone, and that didn't help me. <laughs> Natasha's bathing herself. She's taking a bath. Hello, Nadia. I could be rebruising it. That's why I've gotten this donut, and I try really hard not to sit too long without my donut. Reese, thank you so much for the coral. I appreciate you. My legs go completely numb if I sit too long. I can't move at all. I hate it. Oh, my God. Cold water sensation is pinch nerve related. Thank you. You've missed only three stories. Natasha is gorgeous. She is such a lady. I fell down carpeted stairs three to four years ago and bruised my tailbone. It took almost a year of sitting on a butt donut. When it gets cold or rains, it hurts. If I sit too long, it radiates up. Oh, hey, Ryan. You only missed three stories. I'm back for five minutes while we drive home. Hey, Jess, how was dinner? 
Oh my god, hold on. I guess we're going back on the donut. The thing is, right, when I sit on this donut, is it helps... It helps my tailbone for the most part, but then, like, it's uncomfortable in general. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I only have sciatica, but now that I'm preggers, it's acting up all day, every day. Woo! I have lupus and RA. I know all about aches and pains, my friend. Listening while traveling on the freeway. I have an alarm set on my phone, wakes me up throughout the night to move or it hurts so bad. Hey, big. You have to actually like wake yourself up to move? Oh my goodness. I guess I shouldn't be complaining about my, my little butt pain, huh? Natasha is one years old. She just turned one. She just turned one recently. I tried a tailbone seat cushion and it hurt me more. It was very uncomfortable. The donut is the best for me. I just moved because I sleep with five animals and a wife. <laughs> like five? <laughs> she is pretty, right? She has a great color. Butt pain sucks. All pain is valid. My bladder has been so flared lately. Ugh, high glitches. Hi. <clears throat> Um, she is still a baby. We have the eight, but typically only five sleep with us. <laughs> oh, friends. Is Daniel here yet? <laughs> I have piriformis syndrome where my sciatic nerve goes through my glute muscles instead of over them. What does that do? That's very weird. I'm up every two to three hours to move because it's pain. Oh my goodness, Carrie. I suffer from brain damage that causes terrible back and leg pain. I've never tried a donut. I might have to. Cody, try it out. I am so sorry, friends. It is crazy. It is crazy. Sometimes, like, you don't realize, right? Like, I don't know about you guys, but, like, you know, you're in your own little world a lot. And, like, sometimes you don't realize. You're like, oh, man, like... My knees hurt every time I walk and my back hurts when I sit and when I do this and you look around at other people and you're like, they look like they don't have any pain. I wish I didn't have pain like that person. And then you talk to people and like everyone has something. <laughs> Everyone's got something. We need healing tubes. Yes, please. I'm finding tons of inflammation and fluid buildup from cancer. Oh my goodness, Megan. We are bonding in our pain. We are like a disease of the month club in here. I have MS. <laughs> Legit. I get knee pain. Sending love to all fellow pain sufferers. My knee has been hurting for three weeks. I have fibromyalgia and neuropathy. Especially as you get older and being a woman who has kid or kids. Yes. That's why I try to show kindness every day. You don't even like notice. I actually, I actually said yesterday I got up off the couch yesterday. I was just standing up. Me and Uncle Matri were watching TV, and I was just standing up to go walk into the kitchen, and I was like, oh, I miss the days when I could just stand up getting up from the couch, and it didn't hurt. <laughs> Can't even remember what it feels like to just stand up. <laughs> Can't even remember. Pain-free. Part three? What do you mean part three? Where's part two? <laughs> Jess, when I said Daniel, uh, not Jess, Justin, when I just said Daniel, I was actually not talking about this Daniel. I was talking about another Daniel that sent a story and then disappeared when we were going to read it. 100%. Oh, my knee's been hurting for three weeks. My knees have been both hurting for 10 years. <laughs> Uh, 70 surgeries and one shoulder surgery. I miss my 21-year-old pain-free body. Oh, my God. I was just talking to my boyfriend about how achy I am. How does one live without back pain, right? I have ADHD and a desk job. I hyper-focus and don't move enough. Now in PT, hoping for the best. I don't remember a pain-free time either. This has given me a new sense of appreciation for my usual lack of major pain. Oh, you lucky, lucky, you lucky lady. 
Don't forget when you have to kneel down to get something off the bottom shelf and then try to get back up. Oh my God. <laughs> my back hurts when I wake up, but yoga helps. That's good. Hold on. We're over on YouTube now. What else we got? I was supposed to have a second spinal fusion at the end of the year, but then had a glitch with my insurance and couldn't get it fixed in time for my neurosurgeon to do it before his retirement. Oh, man. Uh, I have lymphedema. It has turned my legs into elephant legs full of water. I can't walk and they swell up all the time. I have been like this since my 30s. That is what Uncle Matrix has. The thing that his physical therapist diagnosed, I think, is lymphedema, I believe. But his comes and goes and it actually hasn't come in quite some time but it was really bad for a minute they were big he had like those little red dots all over them and they were so swollen my body sounds like a damn rice crispy every time i got up same my knees are like all the time my tongue is still so numb i have a lisp it's been four hours for the dentist oh my god i have autism ibs possible narcolepsy a bad knee and back pain <laughs> I'm almost 40, three back surgeries in, and I have a three-year-old. I gimp after him daily. I use a pain gone pen. It's a rose quartz stone that gives an electric shock or something like that. It helps after immediate use. Huh, really? That's interesting. I never heard that. I pick things up with my toes so I don't have to bend over. All right, back to TikTok. What do we got over here? I fractured my back in seven places when I was 19. My back has never been the same. My back hurts when I wake up or read that. I can't sit on the floor because I can't get up off the floor. The Rice Krispie knees. Yep, yep, yep. Fibro, RA, osteoarthritis, scoliosis. I don't know what sh Sjogren's, DDD. What's that? And more. Could be worse, though. That's a great outlook to have. I'm 46 and my back aches every morning when I wake up. Rice Krispie knees in the house. Whoop, whoop. They sent us part two, but said it's for our eyes only. You fucking dick. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Scoliosis and sciatica. I have an electric stimulator implanted in my back attached to my spine. Does that help you, Crystal? I have to be in bed all day with my legs up and drink lots of strong diuretics. Oh, my God, Miss Murda, That's so bad. Diagnosed with lupus at 19, fibromyalgia at 30. I've had knee pain since I was 15. Autism, ADHD, hypermobility, sleep apnea, and still figuring out other cause of issues. Oh my gosh. I turned 30 and fell apart. You had five broken ribs? 15 broken ribs? I didn't fall apart until 50. We are going down, going down the lines uh 20 and have pots but now i have a heart condition blood pressure problems all over pain and seizures oh my god i feel like once i hit 35 there's a new ache and pain every month chiari malformation what is that it's for chronic pain i have a laundry list of diagnoses diagnoses <clears throat> ddd oh degenerative disc disease I know that I'm not the only one who aches all the time. I've never felt closer to all of you. <laughs> we got whoever's asking about stories. We read three stories. Who knows if we'll read anymore or how many we'll read or if we'll just chat and play the games. I'm not sure. It's kind of a slow kind of night. Knee surgery at 34, 47 now, perfectly done. Ooh. Waking up feeling like you pulled a muscle. That's always fun. Leg cramps during the night and night sweats. Yay for being in the 40s. Oh my god, I've had night sweats forever. It's f all from COVID except pots. It's so crazy. Does anyone wake up in the morning with extreme hand pain? I wake up a lot in the morning and my hands are swollen and hurt. Are we all laying on our heating pads with icy hot watching Auntie? <laughs> I lay on my heating pad in my bed every night when I lay down. I had 10 sets of tubes, ear tubes, tonsils removed, adenoids removed, eye correcting surgery, and wisdom teeth removed. Whew. I've had a Charlie horse in my sleep before I woke up. Ooh. That's arthritis. Oh, cool. Nice. Why do we have night sweats? I think it's because we're getting close to menopause, probably. 
<laughs> yes, he using my heating pad right now. Sometimes I wake up and find it hard to move my thumbs. I'm only 19, but this pregnancy has me feeling like I'm handicapped. Oh my god. I thought I was alone this whole time. Wait, about which thing, Crystal? You're not alone anywhere, friend. <sighs> okay, I will. Thank you, Miss Murda. If your hands hurt when you wake up, maybe you're clenching your fists while you sleep. Is I'm fighting off all the demons in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I can't live without my heating pad. Does anyone have one of those weighted blanket heating pads? I want to know if they work. I don't. I don't have a weighted blanket. I don't think I would like a weighted blanket. After 50, just be happy you woke up and pushed through it. <laughs> okay, gang. Woo! Scroll up and read mine. Wait, where is yours? Weird thing, since I had C19, my tear line, bottom eyelid is ticklish. What? That is really weird. That is really weird. Maybe I'd like it for the weighted blanket. For some reason, I kind of feel like it might make me feel claustrophobic, like I can't move. Tiger Bomb is amazing for arthritis in the hands. Endo, bladder pain, V pain, Lyme and co-infections, IBS, insomnia, list goes on 17 plus years. We need alien healing. Please, aliens, come heal me, but don't scare me. No, just don't scare me, but just heal me. <laughs> Does he get wrapped? Gets wrapped? Is that, wait, are you asking his legs? No, no, he's clearly not anywhere as bad as you. Um... But I did get him the those things that he uses if they get bad, where he puts them on those things that go over your whole legs and they like do this thing. You know what I'm talking about? Does this thing? Literally, if they have a probe, I'll take the probe if it helps all of us. I'll sacrifice myself. <laughs> Leah. <laughs> yes. I have to say, friends, I'm sorry to hear all the pain. I wish you all some comfort. Thank you, these dolls. They're so surprised. Uh, I work with developmentally disabled and I've had this conversation with them. They're so surprised that everyone is going through something. Seriously, everyone is going through some shit. Everyone is. The cutie patootie, I know. We got cute, two cutie patooties. The two little cutie patooties. Get him some socks. He has some socks. He wears those if he needs them. My mom has those. They look like the giant moon boots. Yes, 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 that was Megan Heston. Yep. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Two hundred thirty-two likes. What is happening? We have some likes. That's so nice. Thank you so much for so for all the little tabbies. I appreciate you. Any younger viewers are watching this, thinking I never want to get older. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't fit in them anymore. Oh my god, Miss Murda, girl, friend, friend. Um, I love that you have a service dog that lays on you to help you. That's so awesome. Tippity tap tap tappity tip 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 tap tap tap. Chippity chap chap chappity chip 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 chip
You're booping my nose. Boop. <laughs> service dogs are amazing. Well, all dogs are, but service dogs are amazing. They are great. I watch, uh, you know, <clears throat> you know, Matthew and Paul, <clears throat> you know, the blind guy, Paul and Matthew, <laughs> Matthew, obsessed with them, obsessed. Um, and I love learning about his guide dog and like all the cool things that they do. Like they're so smart. They are so smart service dogs. Literally obsessed with them. I just want to hang out with them. <laughs> Same. Mr. Maple. Yes. Mr. Maple. You trained her yourself. Wow, Emily. But they are amazing. Like, uh, what's that one thing that he, what's that one thing that he said that it's called, um, oh my God. It's like something disobedience. Something disobedience is the phrase. But like, for example, if he's walking down the street with Mr. Maple, with the dog, <clears throat> and he goes to cross the street, but it's not safe, the dog will not allow him to go. I forget the name of that. Something disobedience. Intelligent disobedience. Thank you so much, Persevere. You did, Peachy. What's the name of it? I don't know why I just yelled that. The microphone is literally like one one little inch away from my mouth. And I get really loud sometimes. I'm so sorry for your ears. Everyone's earballs. Visit from my angel. Is Daniel for a familiar grass here or lemonade? Oh, we couldn't find lemonade story. <laughs> That's a pile right on the bed, Leah. There's one pile. There were two piles on the bed. You can either spend 15K or get one. You can train them yourself. I did not have. Well, it depends on. It depends because Paul got his for free. And maybe it depends on the disability. Because he actually did a thing the other day talking about guide dogs and um, maybe that's just guide dogs like for blind people. My pile just farted, <laughs> which is so rare. Both look confused. That's really funny. <laughs> I've placed a couple of SD prospects and I'm working on training one of mine to be my SD. Oh, really? That's awesome. Yes, I think the teeth whiteners are in stock, my friends. Let me check. I made a video about them today because they're on sale again for only $8.18. Let me just make sure they're still here, though. Are they still in stock? Are they still in stock? We're scrolling. Oh, why am I scrolling when I could literally? I oh, know I, I am scrolling on purpose. Where are you, my lovely? You have to be here. Where are you? Oh, where are you? Here you are. Yeah, they're in stock. They're in stock. Oh, I'm sorry. They changed the price now to eight ninety nine. It was eight nineteen, but now it's eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine for the whitening strips. It's pretty cool. There is a service dog for everything. Bye, Mojo. I love you so much. Enjoy well. Should we read a visit from my angel? Someone just sent this story. Let's read it. We're just having a crazy old live today. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, my gosh. All right. Let's read it. This one is. A visit from my angel. Breeding for service dog temperaments is one of my breeding goals. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. You missed three stories. All right. We're starting this one at 259.22. <laughs> Here we go. 
Hi, Indie Matrix. Hi. I love you and your lives. They are life. Thank you. I am peachy on TikTok. My story happened when I was around 10 or 11 when I had a visit from my grandmother on my mom's side. It's not a scary story, more like a say goodbye in a sense. My grandma passed in 2011 or 2012. I can't get the year right because I blocked that time period out of my life and she raised my twin and I until her passing. A couple of months after, I had a vivid dream of meeting with her. I woke up on the bed. I was sleeping in and around me was a white blank room or space. The only thing that color was the bed and clothes I was wearing. She appeared wearing white as well, and I ran in to hug her, and I felt her embrace me. I squeezed her so hard and asked what happened and told her my twin and I twin and I missed her so much. I also told her my mom missed her as well and needed her. She said, listen, baby, sometimes things happen, and it happens for the greater good. She also had a blood sugar problem, so my twin and I would help take her blood sugar, and if we if it got too low, we would make sure her sugar... We would make her sugar water to help it get back up. And at this time, we were 10 or 11. Also, she started to... Excuse me, you're interrupting my story, Natasha. (laughs) As she started to speak, all I could do was listen, and tears were streaming down my face. She said it was her time to go, and she always would be with my sister and I in the sky above us watching us. I told her we love her so much and went in to hug her again and felt her embrace. I told her to please watch over our mother as she was going her own problems with life, and she said she would always... She would always and for me to take care of my sisters. I also have a little sister as well. I said I would and that we will always love her and grandpa and tell him that we said hi and that we love him. She said that she would and said that she had to go and I cried and said I love you so much. I'll see you later and she disappeared. I think of her all the time and get the shivers every time I do. Thank you for reading my story. I love you, Auntie Matrix. Oh, thank you so much for sharing that story. Oh, yes, we're getting all. That's so sweet. I love when loved ones come and visit us in our dreams. I love that you got to hug her. That must have felt really nice to be able to hug her. Your grandma visited you the night before last too? That was a sweet story. Oh, you were shaking typing that story. I'm sending you so much love. So nice, so sweet. It was. I miss her so much. Oh, that's so nice that you got that visit, though. Natasha, what is the matter? Come here. Come here. Come here, Tish. Do you want to leave the room? This Natasha is so whiny today. Tomorrow will make nine years that my sister passed away. I haven't had a visit from my grandmother in a while. I haven't either. (laughs) Hi, Natasha. Everyone says hi, Natasha. Bad yawn. Why was that a bad yawn? Thank you so much for sharing that beautiful story, though. Let's vote. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube happy face or sad face on tickety tockety tickety tickety talk i'm gonna let this cat out which means i have to get up oh my god my freaking tailbone (sighs) okay here we go here we go little one come on come here come here first of all Say hello, okay? You being so chatty. Say hello to everybody. Say hello, my name is Natasha. And sometimes I'm yell like wow, and sometimes I'm yell like you. You say hello. Oh, what a little baby. Such a baby. <laughs> okay. You want to come in? Do you want to come in? What are you doing? You want to come in? Okay. Um, 
just wildly uncomfortable. I don't know what to do. Oh my goodness, I don't know what to do. What should we do? <sighs> my great cat is so talking to you. He isn't a Russian blue though. Oh my god, she's so she's so funny because she has two meows, right? She has she has the meow that's like we call it it's the ugliest meow. It's like literally the ugliest one. And she's like, Mah, when she wants something. Mah, Mah. And then when you give her the thing, it's kind of like she's like, Mah. like she's happy about it. Like if she wants to come in a come. I just literally shook everything on my entire desk. It was really scary. In the morning, all the cats want to come in the bathroom with me. Like literally all four of the cats. So if she wants to come in the room and have the door closed, she's like, Mah. and then I open the door and she walks in and she's like, Mah. thanks, mom. Same for you too. That is so funny. Would it help you putting a heating pad on your tailbone while you sit? No, the heat doesn't help my tailbone. It does not. It doesn't help my tailbone. She's so friggin' cute. I literally can't. Does anybody else have a story they want me to read? Otherwise, let's play the drawing game a little bit. And um, then we'll get offline soon. Thank you for everyone that's hung out and stuck with us tonight during our slow live. I appreciate you all so much for tapping the screen and chatting and hanging out and voting, listening to stories. I like, <laughs> I love how they all let you attack them with kisses. They all do. They don't have a choice. They do not have a choice. Our other, uh, our Russian blue used to say mom, mama, ma'am, and a few other things. Oh my God, that's so cool, Caitlin. My senior cat kept smacking my other three cats on the head in the bathroom this morning. <laughs> You're getting to 250K. Thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> um, you sent a story a few days ago. What's the name of it, Brian? Ryan, my black cat Crowley has a smoker's meow. <laughs> Leah, you did simply chaos. You just put an offer in a house. That's so exciting! Woo! Congratulations! Exciting stuff. Unknown encounter. Let's look for it. Let's look for unknown encounter. Uh, red. This one we read on the live. Mm, let me try to. Where did you send it, my love? I do not see it here. Is that was the name of it? I sent one called that ages ago, but sent a new edited version about a week ago. Can you maybe tell me? <sighs> Can you maybe tell me your email address then? Because I don't see anything called called that. Try cold packs for my spine. <sighs> oh, that's a, that is another one reason I'm going to get off the live shortly. Is I'm just wildly uncomfortable and I can't get comfortable. Boop, 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 boop. Cold reduces inflammation. So I said, sit on a ass pack. Well, my cat growls. It sounds like Mongolian throat singing. <laughs> doxy, doxy. It's uh, it's just my tailbone. Um, it's hurt for a literal year now, and it's not getting any better. And I'm just like very uncomfortable right now. No, I don't have a herniated disc. <laughs> All this talking about my pain is making my tailbone sore. Uh, Brian, can you tell me your email address, the first part of it, like, so I can try to find you? Because I, I do not see it. Maybe it's called something else. 
Now, I also have sciatica, but it's not sciatica. Jess, please say hi to my mom and dad. Hello, Jessica's mom and dad. Excuse my dance right now. My back hurts. <laughs> but hello. I have a donut pillow, Doxy. <laughs> it's okay. I'm getting sympathy pains in my tailbone. <laughs> I have to be in the weirdest positions, I feel you. Oh my god, it's so... They literally waved at the phone. <laughs> That's so funny. I have my donut pillow right here. I just don't want to sit on it. It's right here. This dumb thing right here. I love you. Bye. Where'd you go, Brian? My kiddo is watching and says hi. Hello, little kiddo. <sighs> Hello, Jordan and Ashley. <laughs> Hello. All right. Brian, where'd you go? I don't think I'm meant to be live tonight. It's not working out. It's not working. All right. We're going to go. We're going to just read a random story. Let's see. Like an old one. Hmm. Next prayer is for our landlord to let us out of our lease a month or so early. You could do it. Somebody yell out a word, a topic. I'm going to type it in here. Alien story. Alien. Let's type in alien. Let's see what we get. I'm going to like super old ones. What is this? This says... I commented on your TikTok a few minutes ago. This was from a year ago, though. I took this photo tonight because I loved how the moon, the new moon and two planets are aligned. Jupiter is one. Next, zoom next to the moon on the right. I never saw that with my own eyes. It looks like a protected alien. A protected alien. What do you mean a protected alien? Hold on, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. Hold on. Let me pop this out. Let me pop this out. This is it. Hmm. Just didn't send a story yet. She's going to say she she's going to send it for tomorrow if I go tomorrow. This is it. And they said to zoom. So if we zoom. Do they mean this? To me, this looks like and I know this is not what it is, but just in general, it looks like a, a banana being peeled. <laughs> like This is the bottom. Or alternatively, it looks kind of like maybe an octopus like creature in the sky. A lens flare, a glare. A unicorn balloon. Hey, Odin. Are you back? Hey, bud. Interesting, right? A single duck, perhaps. Reflection. Hello, baby. Oh, Jojo, here's a boy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What a boy. Looks like a ball on animal. Okay. You cannot push my microphone around, boo-boo. You cannot do that. A jet whose image was folded through a glass window. Huh. All right, let's look for something else. This was, this was something. What else do we got? 
What else do we got? What else do we got? What else do we got? La, 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 la. What are you licking? Oh, what a handsome boy. <gasps> You're the most handsomest boy in the whole world. In the whole world. Everyone's yelling things. Doppelganger. Mothman possession. Let's try possession. Possession. What about this one? My scariest paranormal experience. Let's read this one. My scariest paranormal bud. I can't see the screen, honey. I <laughs> Your tail is right in front of the camera, honey bun. Okay. You showing everyone your butt? It's very nice butt. Very nice butthole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're reading my scare. Let me write this down. My scariest. You can't eat my pen. Paranormal experience. And we're going to start it at 3, 16, 15. If I can, if we can read it. <laughs> if we can. You going to let me? All right, here we go. Hi, Jessica. Hi. I absolutely love your page and your insights. I have a story for you. My grandmother's house has had spirits or beings since before I was born. I was told stories of me seeing... I can't see. Mr. Odenbud, I love you so much, but let's just back up like this, this many inches so that I can read to the people, you know? The people want to hear stories. The people want to hear stories. What if I just hold you? How about that? All right. All right. <laughs> My grandmother's house has had spirits or beings since before I was born. I was told stories of me seeing things and remembering the past that I was not alive for. I have been visited by spirits and had several weird occurrences. One can one comforting me in a moment of sadness, late 90s and early 1000s, and another was the spirit of my late baby cousin seemingly telling me that he was okay now, late 90s. Most recently, my late grandmother's presence, the day that she died, her rare perfume engulfing me as a hug, 2018. <clears throat> he is taking over the show. He is taking over the show. When I was in high school, okay, okay, <laughs> this is so hard right now, this is ridiculous. When I was in high school, I had been really depressed and so, I can't say the word. When I was in high school, I had been really depressed and tried to unalive myself, attempted once. Did not really have anyone to talk to and was in one of the darkest points of my life. I started to research online about the occult and other things along those lines. This paranormal experience started as a voice coming from my living room, which was right next to my bedroom. It would call my name at first friendly. I would get scared. So before I would go to bed, I would close my sliding door. Then the voice got more demanding by saying my name and asking me to come to it. Oh my God, don't go to it. Sometimes the voice mimicked family members and my own voice. This is a mimic story. This went on for weeks. Then I remember being awakened by this terrifying chill in my bedroom and the smell of rotten meat. Oh, no. I instinctively looked toward the living room. There was a figure almost floating slightly above the floor, tall and slender in what I would say a heavily hooded cloak. I was terrified and immediately prayed myself to sleep. The next few months, I could feel the entity in my room. It would violently shake my bed as if to wake me for what felt like forever. 
Then one particular night, I'm sorry, whoop. Then one night in particular, the entity shook my bed, but then came to the side of the bed. I could feel it sink down and a presence waiting for me to turn around. My bed was up against the wall and I liked to sleep on that side. While this was happening, I stared at the wall, praying for the whole scenario to stop. I noticed that the entity would always come around at 3 a.m. and when my pet dog would be deep sleeping in my mom's bedroom. The next morning, I deep cleansed my room and discovered a beautiful crystal candle mirror that a friend's mom gifted me from a thrift shop. Ever since I had this candle, this experience persisted. I threw the candle into the garbage outside and prayed again for peace. I have never been so terrified in my life. To this day, I do believe that whatever was in my room was trying to possess me. It has been about 20 years since this happened to me and I am still shaken. What are your thoughts on my experience? Thank you for your time and insight. Any insight that you can provide. Whoo, my goodness. No thank you to that entire thing. It was definitely the damn thing from the thrift shop. It was definitely attached to that damn thing from the thrift shop. What do you guys think about that? I thought crystals were good at keeping them away from you. I guess it depends on the... I think it, it wasn't the fact that it was crystal. I think that it was because it was a mirror, a candle mirror, and it was from a thrift shop. I'm gonna pop some turds. Oh, I got twenty dollars in my pocket. Um, um, I'm coming, looking for a come up. Is that right? This is fucking awesome. Oh my god, I can't remember the words. Walking in the club like, what up? I got a big cock. <laughs> okay. Anyway, the mirror was likely used for flame gazing. Ooh. You work at a thrift store, a thrift store. All right, we're going to vote. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy or sad face on TikTok. Tickety tock. That's right. <laughs> okay. All right, okay, and all right, all right, and okay, okay, and all right. <laughs> Get Odin a cat tree so we can watch him on lives close up. <laughs> the stimming is real. Didn't even know I was doing it. I wish I had the energy your brain has. <laughs> Same. Samesies. <laughs> when I do stuff like this sometimes, the other day, I don't remember what I was doing, but Uncle Matrix was like, your autism is showing. <laughs> it's okay, girl. I'm there with you. Squirrely. Hey, call me RJ. What up, what up, what up, what up? Not sure if you saw my previous messages, but I did submit a story end of last month. What is the name of it? Big 3-3 three, three Bug. Thank you for going live, even though you're in pain. We love you. I love you too. Me all the time. Meow. 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 <laughs> I'm just waiting for uh to have the answer from Big Thirty Three. You got a hand tattoo today. I got Sparkles Heart Planet and Leo sign. You can send a picture in Discord. Yes, yeah, send it. It's called story submission. <sighs> okay, that might be hard to find. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yeah. Story submission. Is it, is it short? Caregiver? Retirement home? Is that it? You've been trying to unmask as well. It's hard, you know, it's scary. I am a kitten, right, meow? 
<laughs> I have ADHD, but I believe I'm high functioning on the spectrum. Self diagnosis, I guess. Yes, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> haven't professionally gotten diagnosed but I'm pretty sure I'm I'm pretty sure by tests and all the things and all the things that I'm a little I'm on the HD yep that's you okay let's read it let's do it let's totally read it story submission six story submission Submit into the story. Submit. Okay. Here we go. Yes, Mandy. Yes, Mandy. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go again. All right. It's three hours, 25 minutes, and 22 seconds. All right. Hi, Andy Matrix. Hi. I used to work as a caregiver at a retirement home, and I would work the overnight shift. One of the job duties is to do two-hour checks on certain residents. The building is two stories with two different sides on each level that have 15-plus apartments. On one of my nights, I was doing my checks and I was upstairs. I went down to the end of the hallway and everything was quiet except hearing some background noise of random TVs in the apartments, which was very minimal noise. I was walking back down the hallway and I was doing my last check for that two-hour window. When I was standing by the apartment door, it all of a sudden sounded like a real loud TV was playing in my left ear. I could hear the sound but could not make out any words being spoken. When I turned to open the apartment door, it instantly went away. When I checked on the resident, they were asleep on the couch with the TV on, but you could lightly make out the sound of the TV. It was interesting to say the least, and I definitely went back downstairs quickly. I was not afraid by any means since I had worked there for many years, but always an interesting experience. The end. Um... Interesting. I wonder if it was up for some reason, and that's why you could hear it, and then it went down. I'm not really sure. There's a lot of stuff going on in retirement homes. I mean, there's stuff going on everywhere, right? But there's stuff going on in, in retirement homes. Woo! <laughs> Just laughing at myself. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that's weird. Oh, it was only in one ear. Wait, they said that? Oh, yeah, in my left ear. Why did I not pick up on that? You're right. It was only in one ear. Might be the energy of a past resident. Perhaps, perhaps, my friends. Some people do it without meaning to, even though they don't do it intentionally. Like, oh, you're talking about masking. Sorry. Agreed, agreed. Weird. That was weird. Let's vote. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube and a happy face or sad face on TikTok. Let's totally vote and stuff. I used to work three Ds as a CNA. All kinds of things happen at night. My husband's hall, there used to be a blood-curdling scream and no one would be awake. Oh, my God. I often wonder if people in care homes are on the same level as small kids closer to the veil. Probably. Probably. Probably, mouse. Probably. Okay, friends. I think we're going to play this drawing game again and then I'm going to go. This has been an interesting night. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Yes, they are. Yes, closer to the veil. Everybody. Shots, 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 shots. Good night, everybody. Good night, Lady Raven. Whee! Love you so much. Oh, my God. Oh, by gosh, by golly. 
It's time for mistletoe and holly. Tattoo photo is in Discord. Let's check out your tattoo. Oh, there's a lot of here. Oh, doctor locations. Amy, thank you so much for sending all these ortho doctor locations in Discord. I have the older version of this donut. It helps my thighs from not hurting, putting pressure and sitting too long. You guys are so sweet. Everyone's sending all this stuff. Oh, interesting shape of a donut. I understand, but I don't sit like that. That This wouldn't work for me, Christy, because this donut that you're showing me has like indents for your thighs, you know, so your thighs, I don't ever, never, ever do I sit with my feet on the floor. Never, ever do I. <laughs> I'm either crisscross applesauce or if I'm on this donut, I have my legs crossed. I have one. It's I never, never, ever can't sit like that. That feels so weird. It makes me feel icky to sit with both legs on the floor. But thank you so much for sharing that. Um, I don't see the I don't see the tattoo though. Is this the Hat Man? Yet somehow they all characterize. Someone sent a video of the Hat Man. The possible Hat Man. Let's watch it. Hold on, we're gonna watch this one. All right, let's watch it. Yet somehow they all characterize the same figure. This photo was captured by a woman who was dozing in her bed in 2017. She was listening to a podcast and felt herself drifting off to sleep. Suddenly she felt a dark ominous presence. Yet somehow they all characterize the same figure. Wait, this photo was it? captured this by a woman right who was dozing in her bed in That's crazy. That's crazy. I have a weird chair that helps my back. I sit the same as you normally. I'll send a picture in Discord. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Rue. So weird. So weird. Oh. Do you guys want to play the drawing game one more time before we go? Or should we just say goodnight? What do you think? What's everyone feeling? This has been like a, an off night tonight. So what's everyone feeling? You let me know. You saw another video of the hat man too? Oh, you sent it in the wrong Discord. <laughs> yes, drawing, yes, drawing, please. Drawing, drawing. Drawing game, drawing game. Okay, we'll play the drawing game. Um. Okay. Pictionary word generator. Generator. Oh, that's a really cool tattoo. Oh, I love it. Oh, it looks really cool. Nice, nice, nice. All right. I imagine him saying, top of the morning to you and tip it his hat. No worry at all, Mama. You enjoy that dance party with your kids. I love that you did that. That is so fun. All right. Here we go. How the fuck? Ooh. All right. Here we go. Numero uno. Numero uno. <laughs> this is not working out. <laughs> it's not working out. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, hold on. 
<laughs> Yak 2.0. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now do you know? Do you know what it is now? Yes. Okay, someone got it. <laughs> Platypus. Duck build calipus. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's a cowboy, friends. This is a cowboy. I promise it is. It's definitely a cowboy. And this is definitely a horse. <laughs> find another word checks out yep here we go um hmm <laughs> my drawings are the best thank you i feel like a lot of these we've done before hmm let's try it. i don't know if we've done this one but we'll do it again okay number two beep 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 whoop What's that? What's that? What's that? TikTok has gotten it. What's that? What's that? YouTube is getting it. What's that? What's that? Everybody's getting it. Whoop whoop. Yes, friends. All right. All right, all right, all right. The word was or this or right here is definitely an or it's the shape of an or you can use it as an or and there it is you did such a good job let me get my next word it will be the last word of the night we've done all these hmm okay let's try to do let's try to do this one are you ready without a paddle I haven't seen that. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I froze. I'm not frozen. I'm right here. You silly goose. All right, let's go. Um, We're going to do this one right here. Hmm. <laughs> Good night, Maddie. Hmm. Does this help you? Um, oh god, guys. Um But the but but like it's it's a yes oh my god somebody on tiktok got it oh somebody on youtube got it yes yes you got it oh my god guys i'm so proud of you i was like nobody's getting this ain't nobody getting this one and look at you guys go look at you go my friends okay this was tiptoe it was tiptoe. Okay, let me know how many did you get out of three? And if you did not get them all, which ones did you not get? And then we are going to say tiptoe through the tulips. Um, that's going to be stuck in your head now.
<laughs> Looks like a platypus dog. I think that you are a little bit behind, Yams. I think you're behind on the law on the live. Which kitty's behind me? That is Cauliflower. She's my first baby. She is, I think she's seven. She might be seven. Or maybe turning seven. Oh my god, I can't believe I've had her that long. Thank you guys so much if you came to hang out with me today. I'm sorry that the live was a little slow today and that we had like less stories and less engagement and stuff. Um, I know sometimes it's not as fun when that's happening. So I really, really appreciate everyone that stuck around and hung out today. I appreciate your taps and your comments and your voting and your sharing and your gifting and your um subscribing and your membering speaking of subscribing cats creations thank you so much for subscribing i appreciate you please welcome cats creations to the glitch community tiktok um i'm sorry your rush shirts that's okay but I really appreciate you guys coming. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Um, if you want to send me any stories for future lives or videos, you can send them to antimatrix at gmail.com. They are up here. Uh, the email is up here, TikTok, and Chris will put the email in the... Um, yep, she's already doing it. In the chat, YouTube. Also, if you are not subscribed to YouTube, TikTok, make sure you go over and you subscribe to YouTube because first of all, this live was recorded and it will be up on YouTube <clears throat> in a little bit today. Um, and, uh, I'm losing my fucking train of thought and you'll be able to watch in case you missed any stories or you want to rewatch, it will be up with the stories time stamped in the description. So make sure you are subscribed. And second of all, there will be a new YouTube video coming out tomorrow at 5 PM with 10 new stories that you have not heard before on any other platform. So you're going to want to watch that tomorrow at 5 PM on YouTube. I am anti matrix on YouTube. Please go and subscribe. Um, if you are a glitch community plus member on YouTube already, you already have access to the video because you get early access to those videos. And so some people have already seen it, but it will be out to the public tomorrow at 5 p.m. Anti-Matrix. Also, please come and join our Discord. Uh, Discord is dsc.gg slash anti-matrix. It's up on the screen for TikTok. It will be in the chat for YouTube. We have 1,800 and something people in Discord. Come and hang out with like-minded individuals. And also, it's a really great place to get announcements from me of when I'm going live, when I drop a YouTube video, and all those other kinds of things. It's a great place to be just for information. But also, come and hang out and chat with us because I love, I love, guys, don't like be afraid to chat in the chat about whatever the fuck you want to talk about. I have this discord here for you guys to be a community and to be able to hang out when I'm not live, which is a lot of the time, right? Because I <laughs> never know when I'm going live. So please don't don't be scared. Like you could talk about whatever you want in there. I'd have a great time in the discord. Everyone can interact. Um, also, please make sure that you click on the link in my bio or go to testcavision.com. You can check out my merch. You can get my PO box if you would like to send me anything. If you send me anything, by the way, I always either make a video of it or I will open it on live depending on when I get it. Um, and I think that's all the things. I believe that's all the things. Persevere, thank you so much for sending a subscription. I appreciate you so much. Lost Girl, you got a subscription from Persevere. Sarah, thank you so much for the coral. Wait, where is the videos only for subscribers? For only subscribers. Wait, what do you mean, Kristen? I'm a confused. I'm a confused. What do you mean? You sent what picture in Discord? Oh, oh, it makes me sit straight so my back hurts less. Interesting. Huh, that's actually really cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. I was doing something and I thought you said something about early release. Oh, if you are a Glitch Community Plus member on YouTube, like if you're a paid member on YouTube, but there's two different versions of it. So if you're the Glitch Community Plus membership on YouTube, you get early access to videos. Yes. Thank you, M. Um, cauliflower is trying to get into this bag, but I love you guys so much and I appreciate you. Thank you. I hope to see you soon and hopefully it'll be a little bit more of a live next time. I love you. Mwah. Good night, my friends. Good night. You're welcome. Okay. Where's my thingy? Where's my little stop?